girl, I'm feeling you. Ooh, it's true, I'm feeling you. Yeah, when I'm next to you, girl, it feels like I'm having sex with you, girl. And we ain't even touching, don't you see? That's just what I feel like when you in my vicinity. Yeah, cause I think that we got chemistry that is just too dang hot. Yeah, it's natural, don't you see? When you and me together, it's like a baby is trying to break its way into the world. And you got the power of creation inside you, girl. And I think you got what it takes to make a few children that could make the world great. Yeah, and make it a better place. I'd like to see a kid that would share our face. Me and you together, don't you see? We came to this planet to change reality. Yeah, and it's so hot. Yeah, girl, don't you know it? When I think about you, I turn into a poet. Yeah, and I'm just like you see. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I think it's meant to be. Yeah, because I think that me and you can got a lot of stuff that we could do. To make this world a better place And make sure there's a smile on every single face And that includes having a family with you and me Cause we can be in to the future Don't you understand? A family will make this a better land Yeah, but it's true Baby girl, you know I'm feeling you I'm feeling like I wanna be Kicking it with you for eternity Yeah because we just like that, we tight, and it's just a matter of fact. We got each other's back, no matter how they stack up the odds against us. We gonna react in a way that no one has ever seen. Because we got what it takes to make all our dreams come true. Oh, don't you understand? I got power to do anything in this fucking land. That's right, and so do you Because me and you together, it's me and you And it's two people, don't you see That are gonna change this reality Don't you know what we can do When we are together, it's so powerful, it's true Yeah, we gonna save the world And I'm so proud that you are my girl Yeah, that's why I'm here Rapping so you can hear and everybody on the planet can understand Why I want to be your man, yeah Because we are unstoppable And you know that we are gonna do what we came to this planet to get done We didn't just come here just to have fun We came to save everyone on the planet And that's the way we're gonna do We always gonna keep it real true because you know that we can come through We can make the promises to the people And make it real simple a way To change the world So we can save every boy and girl Yeah Cause That's what's up Much love Bye bye Warning The Drunken Peasants Podcast is full of comedic exaggerations, independent thought, insensitivity, and other offensive content. We strongly urge all viewers and listeners to keep their brains and their skulls throughout the entire duration of this podcast. Failure to do so will result in immediate death. If you wish to support this podcast, there are several ways to do so. First, you can sign up for a free audiobook trial at audibletrial.com forward slash drunken peasants. Audible is the foremost seller of audiobooks today with hundreds of thousands of titles to satisfy all manner of tastes. Second, if you shop on Amazon.com, please use the Amazon affiliate links in the description section of this video. Every purchase you make helps to support this podcast's existence. Third, please peruse our merchandise and see if any of it strikes your fancy. We sell a lot of t-shirts, so we must be doing something right. One more thing before I go. To make an official submission to the Drunken Peasants, whether it be a video for one of our segments, or fan art, or a picture of you wearing one of our shirts, or anything you think we might want to use on the show, that stuff needs to be sent to the Drunken Peasants Facebook inbox. Please do not send correspondence, as this will be deleted unread. Warning, the Drunken Peasants Podcast is full of comedic exaggerations, independent thought, insensitivity, and other offensive content. We strongly urge all viewers and listeners to keep their brains and their skulls throughout the entire duration of this podcast. Failure to do so will result in immediate death. If you wish to support this podcast, there are several ways to do so. First, you can sign up for a free audiobook trial at audibletrial.com forward slash drunken peasants. 
Audible is the foremost seller of audiobooks today with hundreds of thousands of titles to satisfy all manner of tastes. Second, if you shop on Amazon.com, please use the Amazon affiliate links in the description section of this video. Every purchase you make helps to support this podcast's existence. Third, please peruse our merchandise and see if any of it strikes your fancy. We sell a lot of t-shirts, so we must be doing something right. One more thing before I go, to make an official submission to the Drunken Peasants, whether it be a video for one of our segments, or fan art, or a picture of you wearing one of our shirts, or anything you think we might want to use on the show, that stuff needs to be sent to the Drunken Peasants Facebook inbox. Please do not send correspondence, as this will be deleted unread. With all that shit out of the way, it's time to begin the show. Live from the frigid armpit of America, this is the Drunken Peasants Podcast with Ben and TJ, bringing you opinions of the news from an altered perspective. Fuck it! <laughs> you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about, atheists? You know it's okay. You're it's nothing, okay. KJ. You're garbage. It's okay. I just want to no, no, be no, light. No, no, You're fuck garbage. Out, fuck out. Out. <laughs> and now, here are your hosts, Ben and TJ. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. Fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, episode 324. We are so energetic and happy to be doing this show right now. Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah, bitch! Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. I, I can By the way, just an excited. FYI for everyone out there, if this shit crashes again, we're just going to fucking record it. Yeah, and, you know? I mean, now that you guys can hear us, we may as well say it. If it goes down again, we're just going to record an episode. Don't to come back. And we'll put it up tonight. We'll just put it up later, pre-recorded. I'm regretting turning on that coat crashing. now. We're doing ben, our best. Ben, ben was excited. <laughs> oh, you know, you guys... Yeah. I'm trying to talk here, guys. You're going to interrupt me again, TJ and Paul? No. So sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Shut your fucking mouth, Go ahead. TJ. Go ahead, Scotty. All I was saying is that I'm, you know, you guys had that Coke earlier, and, you know, Ben seems pretty happy. He's so anyway, happy. Onision. Yeah. Yeah, Onision. Uh, we, yesterday, we did a double header. We recorded an episode for February 1st that'll be released while we're out of town. Yeah. And then also, we recorded a full length episode of only Onision content. It's in the link in the description below, it's right at the top. Check it out. Uh, How do we even encapsulate the insanity of that episode? Well, the voicemails are the thing. Oh, like, my fucking If you God. think Onision is crazy when he knows it's going to be public. Yeah, wait. where do you hear him behind the scenes? Good times. Fun times. Guy's fucking insane. And we definitely had a debate about the, sh uh, the Shiloh saga. Uh, if, if it was kayfabe, it's real or not. So, I mean, there's a lot of great content in there. I mean, look, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. It's painful to watch Onision for that long, but we rip him to shreds. I felt like I had to burn my clothes and <laughs> take a shower in rubbing alcohol <laughs> to bleach. cleanse myself. Bleach yourself, Ben. We did all agree that we'd rather be Onision than Brett Keen, though. Of course. Yeah, that's easy. Because Onision gets hot ass. I mean, that's and really the money. only thing he's got. Well, and and money. He's got money. Money, hot ass. I mean, come on. Or Brett Keen. Yeah, oh, loser yeah. and Festus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, also we're going to talk about the meetup, which happens in a few days here. January 31st, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 141 going, 141 interested. So it's even at this point. If you're actually going, please RSVP. If you're one of those fuckers that isn't actually going. Now's uh, the time to split. Yeah, like, I mean, like. I know for a fact there are people that marked going that aren't actually going. Of course. But it looks like some of there. them have moved over because the going is le the interested is lower and the going is higher. This than is the last we show we will be doing before this meetup. So this is your last chance to change your fucking status from interested change your mind. And, and let's going. be honest, guys. Maybe your last uh, chance to attend a fucking meetup. You might die the day after huh? this meetup. Yeah. You could die. I mean, honestly, let's be real. It could happen. It could. And you may, in, and on your deathbed, you'll be like, ah, "Should have gone to the Albuquerque." <laughs> uh, you want that to be your last that poor thought? soul. He could or have you met want, the drunken. Like, peasants. look, you might die the day after the meetup anyway, but do you want your last thought to be, "Man, I shoulda"? 
Or do you want it to be like, holy shit, dude, when I was sucking Paul's ego's dick and fucking Ben was pegging me from behind and all kinds of soda was being poured all over everybody and Fago. Tommy from the Bronx's dick was out. Like, that was the craziest night of my life, notice man. How, I'm glad no, I lived. Notice how the Paul's great night centers around lots Cock of dick. Cock and dick Cox. and butt fucking. Yeah, Cox dude, and soda. And soda, <laughs> yes. So lots of, well, I, I get thirsty when I fuck. So. Well, sure. So okay. your ultimate dream guy would be someone who can ejaculate uh, soda. Fago, dude. I'm, well, I mean, I don't like guys, but yeah, anybody that can oh, like okay. secrete soda. So like, but you would suck a like. Let's say Jude Law comes in here, you know, and, and he he's got. So, I mean, the soda, got that dick soda just, dispenser. It cock, would just be you know? a bonus because I'd suck it that, anyway. Any, dude, I know, but any you know, flavor you want, Paul. It's like it's like that uh, those free orange machines. Fanta, please. There orange you go. Fanta balls. <laughs> Ejaculate some fucking orange Fanta in your mouth, dude. Ugh, Fanta. Give me that. Fanta. He, he, he could walk in and be like, hey, Paul Zico. Oh, I, I feel like Cherry Pepsi so today. I, I want to I, I back up a little bit. Let's sure. do it. We had, we, we're having internet problems here, everybody. Like, we've been working with the ISP. We the, the entire internet in this entire studio was down for hours today. We've switched modems. We've done all kinds of shit. So, you know, we're going to try our best. We we finally got it up and running. And we and we did schedule some stuff that we think are going to at least narrow down the issue. So we're working on it. I was on the phone for almost, almost well, it was an hour and a half today. I was on the phone. So we're working on it, guys. But thank you for bearing with us. Thank you for your patience as we deal with this. Thank you for being uh, here still. Yep. And fuck all you down voters. I love I love all the fucking retards in the chat that are like, expect a short show because they started late. It's like, don't fucking watch. Like, literally, go away. Get out of my fucking life. I'm so tired of you. I don't want you to be a fan of my show. Like, I really don't want you to. I don't care how big oh of a fan God. you are. I don't care if you watched since episode one. I don't care if you have a fucking tattoo of my face on your forehead. But ben. I don't want you to fucking watch anymore. Dude, I'm so glad Ben has got to this point. <sighs> ben, ben, this way. Ben, Listen, I felt this way for so I long. used to be a huge fan of the show, dude. I loved all of you guys, but when you guys did X and then Y, that was the final straw, dude. I can't stand you guys Good. now. Good. Be gone. No. Final straw, so no, leave. No, because I see the, the germinating seed of greatness in I this show. I see the downfall coming. To and all I wanna... of you who actually enjoy the show. Thank you. Thank you, and I want you to upvote this video and show all those whiny faggots a lesson. Yeah, at least, yeah, yeah. It costs you nothing. And, like, honestly, every time I open up our fucking YouTube comments and I see all the negativity in there, I always look at the fucking like-dislike ratio, and it's always a huge landslide, unless it's, you know, 307, the episode that shall not be named. Oh, 307. <laughs> Three but look, dude, it, it, this narrative that this show, uh, you know, sucks or we don't care or that we're, you know, like, we're working, guys. And thank you guys for sticking with us through tough times and being there when we ask you to be. I can't wait to meet some of you uh, in New Mexico soon. Paul can't wait to be your uh, cum bucket. In our New Mexico <laughs> fans. Dude, not to mention the f just the very fact that, like, who here has not had an internet problem in their life? Right. Like, well, I know. It's just we have retarded-ass motherfuckers in, in the chat that are like, down vote, down vote. Like, it's, it's people, like, spamming, using, like, spam bots and shit. You all are the most pathetic motherfuckers on planet Earth. Like, poop. Yeah, like I'm I'd rather be the bum on the street begging for money than a fucking spa person who sets up spam bots. I'm fine with a down in a vote. YouTube <laughs> chat. Sour you, Skittles, if, dude. If, if you don't enjoy the show, and like I'm gonna down vote, but down voting because we had technical issues is yeah, it's absurd. bullshit. I mean, no, no, no fan of any show down votes a show that's genuinely trying to come on the air oh, and that, yeah, that they, they love. I mean, fuck they you, love it. Sour Skittles, dude. Get out of here, Sour Skittles. I like my pure lime Skittles. Okay. Pure lime. My original lime Skittle. Bring back the lime Skittles is what I'm saying. Get out of here, sour Skittles. I don't know. I, I kind of like that one sour Skittle uh, up in there, man. Well, every once in a while they're okay, but there's a the lot surprise, of them. sour Skittle. There's a, there's a cloud of them. Be gone, sour Skittles. I, I didn't mean them. I meant like actual sour Skittles. Oh, well, I'm talking about like yeah. metaphorically here. Yeah. So... Eventually, should I attempt to bring these people on? Because they do need to be on. Uh, we, we made a commitment, so I think we should make an attempt. Okay. <sighs> All right. Well, fingers I'll... crossed, everybody. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure doing this show with you tonight. <laughs> yeah. And the band yeah. played on <laughs> as the ship sank. Fiddly dee. Oh, we're on the fucking Titanic, dude. 
the bit rate seems to be getting a bit damp here, gentlemen. I want to let <coughs> you know that it's been an honor playing with all of you here. Yeah, uh, so I'm bringing one of our, one of our uh, Patreon guests on right now. I'm bringing them on one at a time. So if you guys are waiting uh, to get on, you will get on eventually. I just have to... I'm bringing you guys on one at a time. Makes sense. Uh, one guys, at a time. Uh, mind if I call you guys back in like five minutes? I'm just on my way home from uh, my ties at the beach. Uh, no problem. Sure. Yeah, sure. All do right, your then. thing, homie. Do your thing, homeboy. Right, no worries, man. Cool. Uh, Understand, man. All don't, right. Don't call him back. Don't call him. Never call again. All right, we'll, we'll try someone else. We'll get Dr. Plague on Oh, here. no, not Dr. Uh, Plague. Dr. Plague, come on. <sighs> Let me prepare myself for Dr. Plague. I don't remember who yo, Dr. Yo, Plague hey. is. Yo, 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 what up, What's homie? up, Dr. Plague? What, what, what it do? What it do? Yeah. What it do? What it is? What it be? What's it like being a Patreon these days, man? A Patreon. Good. Yeah, dude, a Patreon. <laughs> dude, it's isn't it nice. the good life? Isn't it the sweet life? It is, especially you know I get to up uh, upvote the fucking video and shit, and not be a faggot and downvote it. <laughs> yeah, dude, I like Doctor Play. <laughs> Never mind. Come on now and bust a dorb. Yeah, bust a dorb. Don't Dr. just Play. stand there, bust a dorb. Everyone who's waiting will get on the show. By the way, if you're listening, we're gonna bring on one at a time. Uh, let's get into DP action news. Let's do. Let's dive deep. right into it. I feel like we need a new intro for this. So much has changed. Dude, I just saw a giant cavalcade of hearts go by in the chat. Whoever that yeah. was is a lime skittle. Thank you very much, dude. Love you too. Not really love, but like, man, I like you a lot of hearts. No. I like you a lot you, of hearts. I love Paul you. De Paul despises everyone. All right, well, everyone. I'm not going down the love train with somebody I never met, but I like them a lot of hearts, dude. If you want me to love you... I see your it's video easier for thumbs Paul to up hate and I will love. automatically love yeah, you. Yeah, dude, every, everybody that thumbs up this video, Ben is automatically loves them. Yeah. Yep. So Deeply and utterly in love with you. Yep. Absolutely, yep. like uh, unquenchably in love. He has a, a <laughs> lust and a fire for you oh, that only your sweet, sweet boy pussy can quench. Oh, yeah. <laughs> boy pussy. <laughs> <laughs> your bussy. Right, let's change gears. 25 bussy, minutes bussy. down after the hour. Faith in Hollywood, oftentimes the two... Don't go hand in hand. That's right. But movies like Miracles from Heaven and the upcoming movie The Star have been putting religion in the spotlight as part of a, this trend toward more faith-based films. Uh, it has nothing to do with Hollywood just saying, oh, well, we're more religious. Uh, it's just that religious movies have done well with morons at the box office. So, of course, they're going to make more of them. They're cheap to make and they're stupid. Yeah, they can make this shitty, less than TV quality movie, put it in theaters, say it's Christian, and then a fucking like $8 million worth of suckers will go see it. What about this shit like The Passion of the Christ, though? Did you guys have any like religious okay. relatives that had weepy conversations with you about that film? I still remember the little nosebleed kid. Oh, dude. And, um, remember that shit, Scotty? God, yeah. We were we saw, me and Sky went and saw that in theaters, even though we don't believe in Jesus or anything. We we're just like, man, we want to see this because it's you know such a big cultural phenomenon yeah. and shit. So we went to the theater, and there was all these weird Christian people in the theater and shit. And we were sitting by these other kids and shit. Uh, I guess we were kind of kids at the time. Yeah, we were like teenagers or maybe yeah. like early twenties or whatever. I don't remember what year that came out, but. There was these fucking kids and their mom who looked like fucking the church lady from SNL fucking walked up to him and she's like, here's some tissues in case you get a nosebleed. And we're like, what? Yeah. Oh, and Paul, outside What's of... What's going on? What? There, there was a theater... Uh, nosebleed? They just get regular nosebleeds? What's going on? In a little uh, city we lived in called Covington, there was a yeah. big tent outside. It was like, seeing Passion of the Christ, come talk about Jesus. Dude, I was going to go for the same reason you guys went, like out of curiosity. I wasn't yeah. really looking for a religious experience, but no. I have a family member that's deeply religious. Oh, yeah. She went and saw it, approached me and was like, you have to go see this film. And I was like, oh, well, I want to. And she was like... <laughs> And I was like, oh, no. 
Yeah. And she and she went on and on about how it changed and her life. All and it, it was is like, is oh fucking, my God, just seeing the three suffering. hours of Jesus getting his ass yeah, beat, and, basically. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I tried to watch this movie one time. I got about 20 minutes into it and I fell the fuck asleep. So I've never actually, I've seen clips of what happens. Oh, Paul. But I've never seen the whole oh, thing. Oh, man, we got to do uh, a fucking commentary. So, on that so we're going to talk yeah. about the challenges of being a Christian in Hollywood. All right. Devon Franklin is the producer of these films and he is open about his role much religion or his faith i should say yeah. plays an important part in his good life morning, good morning good to have you me we really love appreciate you. it oh. but you know we've been talking over the last well, week you, or so do you really think he's gonna come on your show and be like faith and religion play no part in my life as i'm trying to promote my christian movies <laughs> like of course he's gonna even if it's not true he would say that well, even if it's just totally a money-making scheme and he doesn't give a fuck <laughs> i'm down with jesus <laughs> I'm down with the Jesus. Oh yeah, I forgot that plague dude was here. Hey. I'm like, well, where given that how many come from? people in the political left and out in Hollywood <laughs> seem to be intolerant toward people on the right, and in particular Donald Trump. Well, you know, I mean, it's interesting. I've been in Hollywood for 20 years. I started as an intern at the age of 18 for Will Smith. And what I can tell you, cool. as from day one, the first interview that I did when I got my foot in the door with Hollywood, I let him know I was a Christian. I let them know I observe Sabbath, and they said, we Devin. can make room for you. So the Hollywood that I've experienced has been very embracing of faith. I mean, so case in point, just last, just in the fall, yeah. I closed the deal to make movies for 20th Century Fox. Yeah. And so Hollywood, I think, what we don't always tell the story, is that movies can't get to the masses unless they go through the Hollywood system. So there has really been more mm. of an embrace. I understand what you're saying. I, I wouldn't you, say they can't get to the masses unless they go through the Hollywood yeah, system. Yeah, I mean, there's been some pretty big independent films. I mean, I, but, I mean, I mean yeah. do you count internet films that get 17, 18, 19 million views that don't do have anything to do with Hollywood? I mean, like, look... Those those films get viewed, the fan films and shit, the internet yep. stuff gets viewed more than some of these shitty ass fucking films that are getting cranked but out. So they're talking about movies that you could put in the theater and charge people an inordinate amount of money to go see. Sure, well they that's they, what they want. They do that. They don't for, give a fuck about. Oh, you got some free views on the internet for people who just had to click on something. Sure. Who gives a shit? Sit them down and rent them a chair and fucking sell them candy. That's what your job is. Well, you know, you see Madonna talking about blowing up the White House. But that's not the whole story. When you're able to go to a movie theater Whoa. and see a film that really represents your faith, mm -hmm. like A Miracle from Heaven or The Upcoming the Star, right. that means there are people in the system of Hollywood who are believing in this content and, and allowing it to get and to and the mass. Think about what a commercial risk it is if you come out on either side, pro-Trump, anti-Trump, because you're telling 50% of the country, roughly, um, I'm against you. Scotty? Telling 50%... <laughs> Dude, I, I really do not get Fox News segments because all I see, and I, I think this is their morning show, if I'm right, but I don't know if it is or not, but dude, they're only, look, Hollywood's only interested in this, and the only reason they're interested in keeping this guy around is because they know there's a lot of markets, and there's a market for action movies, there's a market for movies that are targeted towards women, this is just another market to, for Hollywood, this is just doing research and saying, hey, these saps want to see this, and this guy no, kind of knows what these saps want. Yeah, as long as we can bring this picture in under two million dollars cost, we can make a tidy little profit. Yeah, they, yeah they're yep. funding oh, his shit. movies. Okay. Uh, like, he's, like, yeah, they're funding the movies he wants to make, but these movies, look, I guarantee if you look at the budget for, like, the star or whatever he's talking about, it's probably four to eight million dollars hey, max. It's the attractive, talented Spaniard guy. He's French. French, French hey, I'm, uh, guy. I'm French. How could you call me Spanish? I find that offensive. Good. Be offensive. Uh, I just wanted to let yeah. you know that, like, I don't know if you want this information, but you're on my, uh, you're on my Jude Law list, dude. Oh my God! Ugh. Totally not gay though. Paul's I'm not, not the ever expanding I hate, I Jude hate Law the list. idea of sucking a dick, but I would in certain s scenarios. Paul, you'd suck a million dicks, dude. I think well, yeah. maybe, well, but well, like well, they would well, be primo yeah, dick. Yeah, whatever. You could say it's primo dick, but look, if we if we extrapolate, eventually the, Danny DeVito will be on this fucking list. No, no, fucking no, it's it's Paul. Paul. <laughs> yeah, Danny DeVito is. is on the list. The I want to see uh, Paul suck Danny DeVito's you cock, do it, Paul? dude. Well, right, give me give me a prize. Like we have them both on. I pay to see that, man. I got a thousand bucks on that too. Fuck. We need to dump one. All right, well let let Plague Doctor go. He's been here for a while. So we got to let you go, dude. We can only have one at a time here. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we can get you back. Uh, 
Maybe get you back Plague on doctor, a little bit later. Our, our internet is let's, shit right now. Let's so. let Plague Doctor like uh, give a do- speech. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, you, yeah, do you have anything to say to the people before we have to let you go due to crazy internet bullshit? Uh, to all the people who downloaded the fucking previous stream when it was up, fuck you. Fuck you. Like, there's yeah. over like a thousand fucking dislikes on that for no reason. It's fuck like, chill. them. Sour Skittles. <laughs> They're just crybabies. Y'all just a bunch of faggots. dildo faggots. Turn that mush in the muscle. Oh, oh my god. Thank you for being here, dude. I Thank appreciate you, play it. doctor. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. So, Logan, hey. How are you? <laughs> How are you, Logan? Paul, Paul Ziegel tells us a lot about you. Can, I call, you can I call you Jude? Would that make you uncomfortable? <laughs> no, man. You, you do whatever you got to do. And, you know, <laughs> I like that attitude. Jude. Oh, man. I see Paul's hand moving. Uh, Paul, keep your hands Paul, can on you, the table, please. Can you sing like a Hey Jude? Paul, but, like, keep your hands on the with, table. With cock. Dude, it's like, oh, hey, it hey, like, 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 hey, Jude, I suck Jude. your dick, yeah. like, you know, right. because yeah. it's Jude. A lot of people see Robert De Niro now, and all they see is and the comments he made about thin. Trump. A lot of people are going to see Sally Field or Barbara Streisand or Madonna and say, I'm not going to go get that ticket because they insulted me for liking him or the, her. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, no one gives a, a shit. Decision, you know, about what, what? they want to do and what they want to stand for. And the beauty of not only Hollywood, but this country is that the opportunity to express your point of view. You know what? I, you were on Dr. Oz's show. You've been talking about the Ugh. Blessed 30 Challenge. What Dr. is that? Fucking this Oz. is a great thing that I'm so excited about. You know, Dr. Oz and I are starting this initiative in February. It's called Faithful Fridays. And the Blessed oh. 30 Challenge is challenging viewers to live in the blessings for 30 days. What, what does that, that mean? Yeah, what does that even fucking what is mean? Live, well, okay, so live in the blessings. Oh, oh, hey, oh, it's pretty obvious to me. Blessings. You gotta live in the blessings. Where are the blessings so I can live in them? I can move to the blessings for 30 days on this guy's dime. Is that what he's saying? No, Paul, you need to find blessings, Paul. So where are the blessings mountains? Paul, you need to find the blessings. That, are those in Spain? The blessings. Are those in Switzerland? Blessings. The blessings mountains? The blessings. Because I don't see any fucking you- blessings, asshole. Well, he's wow. going to explain, uh, Paul. I think we're going to have to kill Skype. I mean, like... All right, I'm sorry. I don't think we could do this. Uh, we're going to have to reschedule the Patreon. We're going to have guess. to make it up we'll to get all you, you guys. Yeah, we will, we, I'm so sorry. Like, yeah, our fucking shit is going crazy. We'll get back to you guys, and we'll get you guys on the show at a later date when we get this ironed out after the fucking meetup and shit. Wait, you're talking yeah. to Dude Law over here? You're going to let me go? You get me all... Oh, I'm not letting you go. I'm like not letting you go, ever. Sorry, dude. We will get you back sorry, on man. ASAP, Thank but Thank unfortunately we cannot run Skype right now. It's Thanks. just too much. No Your internet is too shit. We have dog shit on it. Peace. Thank you, man. I, I See you guys it. next. That, we, we do appreciate you. We're that sorry. That guy's really cool. He actually has like a, a pretty big channel, you know, too. Like, yeah. I, I've talked to a lot of our patrons. All, pretty much every last one of them is cool. Yeah. Yeah, and I think they realize right now, like, we don't want to have to do this. But Absolutely The minute not. we put Skype on, we go red. I mean, we, want, we don't want to fuck you guys off with a half-assed appearance that's all laggy and shit. Like, let us iron out our issues here, which we're doing our best to do, and we'll get you guys back. You know you know, we're good I mean, for it. So many times you're stressed. You wake up, you're stressed, you go to bed stressed, and underneath the stress is the reality. Oh my god, really look at what I'm looking Hold at on. here. Look at what I'm looking at. It's him next to him. He's look. He's talking, and then there's another fucking video of him talking. What is this? Who decided that? Shit section. Are you suggesting that if you are faithful, or you have uh, some spirituality in your life, you're actually healthier? Without question. Wow, what a what a Without softball. Question. Well, what a well, fucking there, softball. There's studies that I show will... some people with religiosity have uh, do like live longer. But here's the thing: like I could actually see it in a way because with these people, it's like oh, I don't have to worry about anything. They're less stressed. Yeah, I don't have to worry That's about anything. That's why so when I when I die, I'm people going to a magical People of high place. religiosity don't worry about shit in their life because they think they're going to Candyland when they die. <laughs> like that doesn't prove anything. When I die, I'm gonna get to frolic with Jesus. Cool. Yeah, damn I it! I, damn it! The the magnets keep getting moved. I had I had TJ fucking Paul in the butt, and then I had Paul eating TJ's ass, and now the magnets keep. But getting I'm the moved. faggot because I want to suck Jude Law's dick. Yeah, Man. yeah, Crazy. yeah. Yeah, I would say sucking Jude Law's dick yeah. is probably a little gayer yeah, well, than I mean, moving magnets. I mean, all right, all right, all right whatever. Know. Yeah, it's a little gayer, but his little gay magnet pantomime can't be passed over. That is gay. Him making 
<laughs> him making, so him, making oh. him, him playing Pot. dolls over Pot. there, making him making Pot. my we doll eat your doll's ass. Pot, this is kettle. Pot, this is kettle. We I'm have just, an announcement. I'm just, I'm you, just, sir, are black. I'm just saying, get over here and join me. Quit, quit Whoa, acting all ben, macho. Ben, ben, Paul, you say black. Whoa. I don't believe for a fucking you second black, that I'm you're straight back. now. If you want me to eat Racist. TJ's ass, we can come to an agreement. I mean, you can watch. I already agree. So, Paul, it's fine. In this hypothetical universe, what if Jude Law came in and he said, I want you and TJ at the same time? Uh, what would happen then? Okay, do I have to see TJ? Yes. Yeah, uh, at the same time. I, I'd have to think. I'd probably go with it. Yeah, I like you know. TJ. He's a good friend of mine. <laughs> I think it, I think we sucked each other off one time, and it just was a Not passing you thing, healthier, you know? But your life I'm has more purpose. You. It has more meaning. You're muted. And we're doing this programming every Friday on the You're Dr. Gorn. Oz show in You're the month Gorn. of February to really hit that. You're because Gorn, people Paul. are struggling. There's yeah. anxiety. There's frustration. How do I get yeah. the life that I want? And we hope that this programming will not only help. Uh, no. So basically, there's reality. There's always reality. Like, you got problems. You got shit you got to do. But, like, why, why has it got to be that way? It's like, well, the alternative is you can just be dead or do nothing. Well, the first few questions they try to give this guy were uh, they Soft wanted balls. him to talk shit about the Hollywood system, which he refused to do, which I'll give Krim credit for that. Oh, but he's now, he, now he's fucking just going down idiot lane. Well, High for, at fucking top speed. <laughs> Retard lane. I won't abuse my mic privileges anymore, Ben. Them, but give them practical tips on how to incorporate <laughs> no things talk. every day to have the life that will actually bring them more edification. Focus on That's all fantastic. the positives, the blessings that God has given you, and use those. That's it. Yeah. we got to focus on the blessings. There's so many things that so we want to use news, to divide huh? us, but yeah. the blessings are the things that unite The blessings. Live in the blessings. Well, you, the blessings. Know, you know, it is a new story because, like, you can be healthier if you believe in God. So, like, yeah, there you, you go. don't got to worry about nothing. Can yeah, you go once, upstairs. Let's see some of the uh, once you got atheist Jesus, news you never go Beezus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd rather worry. Thanks. All right, here's a uh, here's a a report on a phone call that Trump is going to have or just recently had with Vladimir Putin. Putin. <coughs> it's a critical first encounter with major international implications, and it will play out over the phone. Donald Trump's first call as president tomorrow with his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin. I don't know the gentleman. I hope we have a I don't fantastic know the man. relationship. That's possible, and it's also possible that we won't. Before he became president, Trump called Putin very smart and openly praised his leadership. He's been a leader far more than our president has been a leader. When asked about Putin today, Trump... Well, I mean, I'm not going to defend Trump, but is anyone here going to argue Putin is not fucking smart? Like, sorry, oh, that's a that, that's a, like you can say I a hate lot of Putin's shit. Putin's guts, but I'm not going to say yeah. he's not a smart guy. He's obviously a smart guy. He's I, in control of an entire fucking massive country. So. He's got guile and he's got power. He also yeah. has that, like that, I mean, that I've gets seen respect. I've seen interviews with him as well, where I mean, he seems like he can actually be. Uh, I mean, not exactly thoughtful, but reasonable yeah and also kind of an interesting guy to, to listen to sure Putin's estimated net worth 200 billion. is 200 wow. billion dollars which makes him one of the richest men in the and, world and let's be honest guys <laughs> I mean that, that estimate is probably way off oh yeah there's if they what, take into he's account got shit he has money. nothing he's, to do he's with he's got hidden money yeah. oh, oh, you better no believe way. it Moderate. this is a rich man I've had many times where I thought I'd get along with people and I don't like them at all Still, those who know the American oh, well. president say don't expect his attitude toward the Russian leader to change completely. I think that he'll try to work with Putin, try to charm him. I, I think there'll be some mutual I'll just grab his Putin. Behavior. Wow, they found you know, the sweet old grandpa elf that works at Santa's factory. Masters of uh, the game. I'll just walk the up and start kissing him. I just can't help myself. I just want to kiss him. So <clears throat> is this Trump? So am Grab I getting Putin. that Trump is kind of like uh, di maybe not distant, distancing himself from his previous previous position on okay. Putin? No, this is bullshit. Ah, no, Putin. this is no. all bullshit. What, what's really going on here, in my opinion, is these guys already know each other and they're probably buddies. And they're both this billionaires. Is, this is Trump being like, oh, I'm going to talk to him uh, for the first time and you hope we get along, but we, we might not, you know, because I don't know him i never met him yeah. so, so but like before whatever. he was like i want to have a great relationship i already have a great relationship and now he's like look i've met some people and i hate them is that kind of like him going in eh, do you maybe? think it do you think it has to do with the allegations of like putin influencing the election uh, yeah maybe. well he doesn't want to seem too chummy with the fucker but I, I mean those two i mean we know that they've met before uh, his idea this well, idea me, they've never dude, met let me, is stupid let me say this mm. I, 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 the they've entire, admitted he's trump talked about
about meeting Putin pretty much before. except for the beginning of the Obama administration where it's pretty much like the you know the Russian administration you know or Putin's you know will say oh okay you know we want we look forward to new relations I mean I they have they have really complimented Trump I mean, I mean any, careful, careful with that anytime Trump has done anything that you would think that might be incendiary they're like we don't really know let's let's wait and see yeah. on Trump so they've been very I, I would say so far they've been pretty nice to Trump, and I, I think sure. I think it's going to continue between the two because they seem well, pretty fucking chummy. I'll, I'll say that if he did meet Putin, it was under very different circumstances. No, no, it wasn't as a presidential candidate yeah. or anything. I mean, it was it was a business thing, you know. And look at our sec- the secretary, that- <coughs> secretary of state did a bunch of business in Russia. <laughs> Putin. Yeah, Rex Tillerson actually is a good friend of Putin. I mean, like, come Bush, on. Bush used to hang with Putin, too. This might be their first little official call, but this is not their first contact with each other. I mean, I don't believe it. Call for a second. Hi. It's the first American engagement with a man the U.S. intelligence community says meddled in last year's election, a finding President Trump has openly questioned. Tonight, experts point to key potential talking points on the phone call. Will Putin object to NATO's troop buildup in the Baltics? Will President Trump raise the possibility of the U.S. lifting its sanctions on Russia? Today, the president did not rule it out. And we'll see what happens as far as the sanctions. Very early to be talking about that. Tonight. Uh, uh, come on. My friends. Hey, hey sanctions. I, I see some sanctions coming. Bye-bye. 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 Sanctions. My, my friends. Sanctions. Sanctions. Please. Sanction disappear. I've arrived at the airport, my friends. Can, can you say sanctions for us, Mr. McCain? Yes, I'd like to put sanctions <laughs> on Russia because I think it's very what? important. Put what friend. on Russia? Sanctions. Sanctions, sir? Sanction? What? Sanctions? What? Sanctions, my friends. <laughs> it fellow Republicans, it. including Senator... J- Lick a dick, TJ. Who's yours? John McCain are warning Mr. Trump not to consider <laughs> lifting sanctions. McCain says if the president does, he'll step up getting sanctions made into law. Instead, McCain says President Trump, quote, should remember that the man on the other end of the line is a murderer and a thug who seeks to undermine American national security interests at every turn. Uh, Tonight... <laughs> Eh. So, so our country isn't killing lots of people. I no, mean, Scotty. I mean, look, we're uh, a peacekeeping force and an adjunct training force. Okay, in our current wars, that's it. Obama never ordered anyone. We dead intercede or when he they more drone strikes than Bush did. No, no, you didn't. Where, where'd you get those numbers, sir? Lies. My Huffington Post. <laughs> Obama's uh, Obama's dropped bombs <laughs> in seven, seven countries, dude. Redstate.com. Twenty sixteen, Scotty. Those numbers are false, and you know false it. False numbers. Ninety percent of these drone strikes Obama and uh, and Clinton were ordering too were uh, were hitting the wrong targets. White House what? is not saying if sanctions will be discussed. Trump 90%. seems to suggest the call would be an opportunity for the men to get to know each other. Tonight, analysts predict they Ooh, may get it along. Sounds like a date. President Trump seems very <laughs> enamored does. of President Putin's I'm looking forward to getting uh, to know him a little better. Better. You know, this notion that he's a very strong leader. That he is opposed oh, he to looks the media very and has cracked down on the media. Okay, so let's even assume that you know Trump is denying the intelligence community and that really Putin did help Trump. Why would Trump? You think someone like Trump sees that as a bad thing? Oh yeah, it helped me get elected. Let me be. Let me have a terrible relationship with this person that helped me. Uh, no one's gonna fucking said no one ever that was in that position. Yeah. Hey, these people helped me out, and uh, now I'm going to fucking do all these deals with them, but I hate them because they're bad. Yeah, like Trump gives a shit who's bad. He doesn't. That he's taken it to he's opposition leaders. That may be something that unites them in this call. All right. So uh, before we move on, I want to remind everyone... Uh, available on Vimeo On Demand, we have Peeling Back the Layers, Onision Examined. Whoa. And, and uh, we have a new option this time. You can rent it like before for three ninety nine, and you get it to watch Unlimited for 48 hours, or you can own it forever for five ninety nine. Yes. Good deals. Yep. Two options. I mean, the, the choice is Two clear. beautiful options there. 48 that's like a hours cho- that, or eternity. That's like, huh. a chi- that's like a Chipotle <clears throat> burrito for deep understanding of the weirdest dude on YouTube. I mean, I, come on. I, I, 
<laughs> I would say that Paul is very close uh, uh, to being a uh, an Onision historian we, as well. We still don't have all the answers. I know a lot. I haven't followed him as closely as I've followed Brett, but I'm kind of like I know some structure. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Some of the bullshit that he's done because it's fun to watch. We 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 de- we took a little we dipped. Uh, I mean, probably. I mean, there are more theories. than a toe in the we psyche know, of There Onision. are theories that fly around. Everybody's got a different fucking theory you know on what? this guy. I actually had a good idea during Periscope earlier. What was that? Uh, that I, I don't know how feasible it is, but I said, like, I was like, fuck, I almost wish we had, like, a psychologist here watching this with us. To, oh, like, dude. And I'm like, why don't we fucking hire a it's psychologist done. to come in Honestly, here? Honestly, it's done. Oh, my God. That, like, dude, that's we, the we, next we, one it's after done. this one. It's done. <laughs> We're getting someone to, like, give, like, a, not a full diagnosis, of obviously, because like they'd a, have to like meet an, him. an educated perspective on yeah. Onision and watch it with us. Yeah, that'd be it's awesome. Done. Dude, I'll, I, I will tell you this unequivocally. So that's like, the one after it. this one. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Or like a body it, it, language. No, no, dude. That's a great idea that you had on Periscope, yes. dude. We got to make that happen. That's got to be the best thing ever, right? We have somebody that knows what they're talking about in here going, this guy sounds like he's got XYZ because we're always holding back because that I'm, back, I'm not a fucking doctor. That fucking backstory <laughs> that you told me with uh with Onision and uh, Adrian. Oh shit. So Is that beautiful. not the craziest shit? And uh you, you guys have got to watch this. I mean it's, it's just it's insane. We get into two of the four ex-girlfriends floating around out there, and we've got so much oh, more. Oh, yeah, that's on another thing. Phone. If you guys like this, this Onision episode, yeah. if it sells well enough, we'll definitely have a sequel. We definitely have enough for a sequel. So. That's when we want to bring in the psychologist and shit. Oh, if you, yeah. So if you guys buy it and like it, share it with people that you know like us, and maybe people that don't like us. Like, pass it around, man, because if we, like, like TJ said, if we sell enough of this, definitely got at least one more episode. Maybe Maybe two on the bone for Onision. Oh, you know what? I forgot Scotty's request earlier. Scotty, did you still want to do that segment? Like, okay, well, Scotty has requested a special. We'll, we'll get back to the news in a second. Scotty has requested <laughs> that we go right into. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Alright. This fucking piece of shit, what TJ. Is this uh your uh, the quaff, I believe, is over on the, uh, over yonder. I shall return. Upon that table. What? So TJ. Yeah, what's up? You know what? <coughs> I mean I, I was gonna take you to Manatee Court, but I I just feel we should fucking roast you. Okay, so why is the show late tonight, Ben? Hmm. Why's the show late? Internet problems. Hmm. Go fish, TJ. Hmm. <laughs> Go fucking fish, bitch. Uh, no, it was because TJ heard that we had internet problems. So decided not to show up. I did not decide not to show up. Decided not to show up, I'm clearly here. What do you mean I decided not to show up? After we fucking called you a million fucking times, TJ, like, we were calling you left, we were calling you fucking right. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, Ben was like, where the fuck is TJ? Paul's like, where's the fuck is TJ? I'm like, where the fuck is TJ? Yeah. You arrived over an hour late, TJ. Over an hour late. Uh-huh. What is your excuse for that? Dude, whatever. Your version of events <laughs> totally fucking erroneous and then, bullshit. And then, my, and then, my version of events are and perfect. Then when TJ what and then when, hold on, hold Scotty on. And, Scotty comes to me Lie. at like 4 Lie. fucking 30 or whatever. Lie. And he says, TJ, no. I gotta go solve some shit at the studio. No. There's some internet problems. Never said it. And you just handle up this video you're doing. I'm like, Never okay. And Lie. so I handle up the video... And then I Lie. wrote back to them. I'm like, internet problems. Lie. How many hours did it take you to do oh, the that's video? True. There's an internet problem. Uh, I couldn't shoot. I mean, I was. I had to wait for Chelsea to get back to actually shoot so, the video. Well, hold on. Let, let's establish how long of a time frame we're talking. All here. right, we're talking about from 4:30. F- from 4:30 to no, when? No, 4:30 no. is I, when Scotty I, came to me and told no, me. No, I told you at 3:48 p.m. No, you told 3 me at 4:30 p.m. No, no 4:30. Well, this lie. bloviating, rooting is my hog of a squire lies. At 4:38, he was attending mine boots. As he is accustomed to be doing, and he knows it to be true. If this man made a compact with you gentlemen to be here at a certain time, I apologize. But I assure you, he has a standing compact that my boots must be like mirrors. Paul, no one cares about your fucking boots, So bitch. My name is not Paul, sir. <coughs> you will address me by Sir Eats-A-Lot. Of dick. 
So, uh, no. Spotted dick. <laughs> Spotted dick. You know, and look, there's been, there's, uh, on another front, there's been more evidence that TJ dropped the weed. Uh-huh. Okay, because TJ recently dropped some fucking Oval Team. Oh, we yeah. know. He dropped, a th- uh, 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 what was it, a 12-pack of Arnold Palmer. Simpleton. I've seen him drop cigarettes, and I've seen him drop lighters. Loon. I mean, he's been dropping everything. TJ, Maniac. Are you, are you prepared now to finally admit you dropped the weed? I mean, I, I didn't ever deny I dropped it. Ruffian. Are you prepared to admit, TJ, that you're the one? That it's, in fact, you're in fault entirely that the weed fell on the ground. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> Not probably. I, oh. I mean, I just all I know I'm is asking you know you to make an admission. You know what else I want to bring here's what here's I'm what I know. You to make an admission, TJ. I sat down. The weed fell. You know they were what? obviously connected. I don't know how. You know what else I want to bring up? Uh, TJ showed up late. And then when he got here, the internet was having problems. He was like, "Didn't matter if I did any better. Oh, also, TJ assaulted me. Like, I, oh, I, I, yeah, I, I was I going saw to that. solve the internet problem, and TJ took a chair and, with as much force as possible, jammed the chair into my Your knee. Sentence, I moved the chair slightly to get up, and it hit Scotty his, in the well, knee. I'll, I'll show the motion that he used. No. Like that, as hard Bullshit. as he could. And he this squad. Squad. His eyes so were on my base. knee. So base is he. Ugh. Look upon to his on disgusting face. Dude, <laughs> what a lesbian. What a fat lesbian. <laughs> lesbian TJ. <laughs> is this my squire? Or do oh I look my upon, God. Do I look upon fat Ellen Dude, DeGeneres? Yeah. Are you going to a is Katie Lane Is this Rosie O'Donnell from Fat Maiden, Paul? Oh, I know what this is from. This is Rosie O'Donnell from the League of Their Own. Hey, you've got your own androgynous These, phase. You know. Thy glasses oh, do, do not fit thy not fat you, face. Sir. Not you, Ben. That bloated I, oh, face. I look the infected fa- face. I looked fabulous, though. Well, you know, but you're a better it. looking fucking dude. So, you but know, of course. Would infect I look like a fat lesbian. Hand. You look like some fat fucking... Fat lesbian. You know, disgust me. Or some shit. You disgust so. me, squire. Uh, so, some fucking Your chowls are like <laughs> swinging sacks of tallow. God, TJ, that's horrible. San Diego to see Marilyn Manson and Slayer. God, he's printing out the directions. Oh, you're in his too, guy. Done days ago. You had to print didn't. out directions. <gasps> <No! laughs> he's got a Bluetooth squire. headset. Yeah, that, that, well, this was a previous squire of dude, mine. I, thought, I do not remember his name. Dude, he is of no consequence. <laughs> what is that in your I, ear? Did I try? That's the a Bluetooth, Bluetooth headset. Wow, I remember. I remember those. Yeah. yeah, I was trying that out because California was cracking down on like hands-free driving, and I, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I talked my way out of a fucking ticket. So I was like, shit. I guess I have to get this fucking thing. So you just wear it, it for no reason? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I used to do that too. Just wear it around. He's as usual. Fuck you, <laughs> Fuck you TJ. All he does is impotently hurl insults while I make valid criticisms. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Hello, Lord. Oh, Jesus. oh, what a Dude, what a flattering as, angle! Look at this yeah. angle. Dude, uh, he's doing this as okay as I'm fucking putting out map quest directions. TJ's like fucking useless, Scotty. Squire, this angle is very flattering. I mean, hey, you flattering. heard me. You should have done it days ago, dude. Days. days ago. What what concept has a squire like yourself as of days or time or the passage of such? You rooting hog. You abortive milk faced loon. Um, fucking uh, Lord Paul. What do I call you? What is a sir squire? Sir eats a lot. Oh, okay. So, sir, oh, sir eats a lot of dick. Sir eats a lot. You know, often he will send his squire, that's me, yes. into the town to, to fetch him uh, men folk. Yes. Yeah, and you know, I, I, fetch so, a flag so, in the so mail, far, TJ. So far, he, he, uh, this, this base person he tells a, the truth. He has a preference for uh, fat neck beards. I do. And uh, that's why he wants every fat neck beard at the meetup to jizz on his beard. Sir, if see, possible. this is where you draw the line. I like fat neck beards because I enjoy playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> he told me to Dungeons? play this. He told me to <laughs> say this before the show. Why laughest thou? He doesn't want to come out and ask for Has low never beers, seen a dungeon? but Diego. you know he wants see it. Load Shut beard. your mouth, squad. Hashtag load beard. <laughs> I'm just giving him a fucking status update. You rooting hog. Okay, oh like my god. So back then, we're still fighting with each other. Yeah. Too, too, too many squires, not enough knights. <laughs> Dude, my, my, uh, you know what I admit to in here? I, I'm not far from fucking page boy. It's very close. I would not allow my squire to have such length in the back, and I would not also allow my squire to wear such dashing sunglasses. Or That's to dress true. as dapperly. Yeah. That's true. My squire, if you if, if the camera ever goes back to him, you will see is a slob. I keep him as such so that people, when they see him, they know his intellect. <laughs> but God, TJ. All right, here's, a, here's my trap picture. Back when Ben was a trap. 
Oh there's, my. Yeah, there's me as a fucking trap. Oh my. There you go. There you Excuse go. Excuse me, madam. Can I escort <laughs> madam. you? Can I escort you to the tavern and purchase a? a, 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 a oh my. Yeah. Damn. Look at those curves, man. <laughs> yeah. You, you, sir. You look like Mazzy Star. Oh no, no Ma- way! You know what? No. Fade into Ben. And, and, and ass cunt. <laughs> when Ben was in his goth phase, I knew. I knew. A Dude, I think, that I think we like just ben. inadvertently brought ass cunt back. So you look at like the lead singer of the Sneaker Pimps. <laughs> 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 We should have Mountain. a new. We should have. We, sometime we should get a picture of Alanis Morissette and a picture of Ben from that phase in his life and uh, play a game of Alanis or Ben. <laughs> I, I, I bet it would be hard. To, uh, it would be hard to pick. Not, not, no. not that that's a bad thing. Alanis wasn't so goth. And I was. Oh, way, she dude, was. Uh, Jagged was little pill, sir. I beg to differ. She dude, wasn't dressing. I really, I really put this video out and like some like someone commented at the time that like. I was near these two weirdos. They're the weirdest fucking conversation ever. Do you remember that shit, dude? Yeah, I do remember that. It was some. Someone was it true? I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. But like we, po- I think he posted his like Manson San Diego concert. So it's it's it, it, you yeah. know it might be possible. They were like, yeah, I was by those dudes and they were talking and it was the weirdest shit ever. I believe it. Which I don't even remember. I don't know what we were talking about. No, I don't remember that. Hmm. But yeah, Curious. some dude claims. We're driving towards things. TJ, Trying always the tomorrow. same, even years You're ago. You're also driving Fine. away from We're things, too, TJ. That's true. Yeah, he yeah, he very true. On the road. Let's, like, have your hands on the wheel for dramatic effect. Look how his Why, why wears the squire... Wrist warmers. <laughs> have a st- have Dude, a, have Scotty, a, hold, hold, hold. Like have a see a job that uh, requires retreating into a let's, small freezer. Let's stop on this shot right here. Yeah, there you oh go. Screenshot. My. Screenshot. Oh my. For all these people who tell me that uh, my my looking like I'm going bald is only recent, here's an old as fuck video where I still look bald as shit. Dude, you're just going bald really slowly. Yeah. Baldness is hardly the the the, the worst of but this. You know picture. what? Okay, you know what's gonna be great though when TJ does go bald finally. Whenever that fucking does happen, is he so he's so high on the front, dude? When he has no, nothing in the back, I need to just hang this picture up on my mirror so like every time I think of fucking shaving my beard off, I can just be like, "You nope, should, don't do it." You should, sir. You how remember about, when I taught you to keep a beard? Uh, how about you, dude? How about, how about hang this on the refrigerator? Never. Nah, that wouldn't stop me from Oh, yes. Eating. Maybe <laughs> it would stop you from eating and shaving. You, oh, you know what, TJ? Put this as your, your fucking screensaver, dude. My screensaver. Oh, yes. You always lock, your damn lock phone. the screen. He'll never figure it out. Like, you you know how to do it, Scotty. Just lock it down. Like, when he's gone gone to sleep one night, go to his computer. Oh, yeah, dude. Make this his screen. Oh, What's no. Up, everybody? Answer video time is here. I got a Bullshit. lot of really good questions. I, I was I was kind of shocked, given that... Oh, damn. So, Paul, in this one, you, you put on a little... You put on some pounds in Look this one. Look at this shell of a man. Yes. Well, I was, I was in a better place at this time in my life. Uh, not the now, but then... Um, white it's gym. weird to fucking you know, see Paul my, without facial hair. My subscriber base is he a has subset facial of the hair. internet. I got a lot of shitty questions, too. No, this I mean, is, like this, he barely has any. This is I mean. mirror universe, Paul. You know he's evil because he has a goatee. <laughs> but uh, a lot of good ones. It allowed me to be really picky with the ones that I wanted to answer, and I still have a really long list of, of, of questions to answer. Uh, so, yeah, let's trans kick it off. Bender. I've got some... Hashtag uh, trans Transbender, dude. Transbender. Well, you've been saying you're, you're, you're Benger, ben- so yeah. that just that's even better, dude. Transbender? You're Transbender, dude. Whoa. So, I got a couple of bottles of blue Gatorade. That's good shit. You know, <laughs> I, I anticipate this is going to take me a while. I might even like take a break at some point and come back and finish later. I don't know. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. So let's uh, let's move right along. Why do you think people believe 9-11 conspiracy theories? Well, let me ask you this. What makes you think I don't believe 9-11? Conspiracy Paul here. Fucking conspiracy Paul. I mean, Paul. at least you know I've been consistent for a lot of years. You know, yeah, that's the only thing we can give you, Paul, is you've been sure. fucking consistent. But, Paul, you know, so, would you say you're one to rush to conspiracies? Um, I think I'm a little bit more likely than the average person to lend credence to I would, conspiracy. I will say that I think, 
your story, your like camping story, is <clears throat> possibly like a twisted memory that maybe you. Well, I could tell it, and you guys could examine it. I mean, we could do that tonight if you want. I've got that story on lock. Story unlocked. time, sure. With Paul, up to you. Sure, I'll yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we, we can talk sure, about it. That's then. what I'm saying. Mark can rap with it. Conspiracy theories. Like, what makes you think I would have insight into the head of people who do? Uh, other than the fact that I am one. Uh, look, here's the deal with conspiracy theories, and this is something that's there troubled me about the information age. There seems to be this large and growing subset of people that when they hear a quote-unquote conspiracy theory, um, they automatically dismiss that person as a fucking loon. You're a nut job, a oh, conspiracy theory, you're a truther. Um, you're a loon. You're, not You're a nut a job. Face it's loon. true. Hashtag truther Paul. Hashtag load beard. Hashtag come and Paul. Load beard. Let me ask hashtag question, page boy TJ. Hashtag send dicks to are, Paul. Are you confident in, oh, in, in the 9-11, uh, what you've been told about 9-11, no. Paul? So you, you doubt it. <laughs> I, I doubt certain aspects of the story. What, yes. part, what part do you doubt, Paul? Um, I doubt that the uh, United States government could not have scrambled uh, emergency jets to stop this tragedy from happening as soon as they saw what was going on um that's a doubt i don't know if it's true or not but i really doubt the official story the official the official story on this can you clear this up tj it's something absurd like they had a training drill that day mm -hmm. that had a significant percentage of america's air power in the air and far too far from the eastern sea does that sound like something number one that we'd ever do and number two, that would happen just by happenstance on 9-11. Am I wrong about that at all? Um, I don't really... Oh, shit. Because the, really, the question has to be raised, why couldn't they have <laughs> shot all three of these planes down? I, I, I also think they shot the one in Pennsylvania down. I think the... I mean, if they did shoot the one in Pennsylvania down, I mean, would you really think that's the wrong choice? No. I I, I'm not against it. I just think they lied about it, which implies that, you know, if lie to me, want, scratch a lie, find a thief. Yeah. You know? I mean, look, I'm sure that the government probably lied about certain aspects of what happened on 9-11. <laughs> but if, if you're, I mean, if you're asking me if I believe the general story of, like, who's directly responsible responsible and shit i do uh yeah yeah, yeah me too I, but, I, I don't buy the like uh you know thermite in the loose, buildings loose bullshit. change paul yeah i, mean, I don't, no, I, don't think, I don't, I don't think it was a controlled demolition i've read quite i say a bit about as much that, in this but, video i think but yeah you know I, i'm never i'm not with that i think i'm about to I say think it, probably the, the conspiracy theory that i would lend the most credence <laughs> to and i'm not saying i know this to be true or that even i believe it We're, to be you're true saying it's a conspiracy theory so that goes i'm you know i'm saying that this is one that i think it seems like there's at least enough evidence to think it's a, f a feasible thing that the government knew this was going to happen. Sure. Did nothing to stop it because sure. they knew that they could use Benefit. it to manipulate the masses into war. Based and on what make, evidence? Make money. Shit. On what well, evidence, TJ? Based on the evidence that George Bush received intelligence briefings that this would happen. They could put, they could the put Dick Cheney's old company that, at the forefront of supplying our soldiers and making billions and billions and billions of dollars. Sounds like a bunch right? of wackery, okay, so, Paul. Wackery, Paul. Yeah, I agree with all that, TJ. Yeah, so I mean, I don't think we're that TJ far apart Paul, of it. But, I mean, jerk. I just don't really know that that's the case or not. You I don't, don't really know. know if there's any way to know that. I you want this know. to be part of the next thumbnail for the for the next episode. All right, so everyone, with, uh, get your I will, I will, I'll just use you it. You don't know, TJ. No, it's no, all we, speculation. People, our, let our fans come up with some shit with oh, it. Oh, sure. Yeah, you're right. Uh, can you make it full screen there, Let our brilliant fans ben? work I can, with this and see what they like can make do. It, just make it big so they can do a screen grab of it. Uh, TJ yeah. covered it up. It's in. I have it in, I'm sure they can uh, enlarge it so themselves Paul, from this. Okay, yeah, Paul, what evidence fine. do I have that you didn't do 9/11? Uh, uh, what none, evidence? Do I, you none. know. You know what, Paul? I'm gonna. Th I'm gonna throw it out there. You and you guys. You know, you're poking holes in the official story. I think TJ and Paul were involved in 9/11. I was. I would like an investigation. Dude, I just wanted. I wanted on the record like that I was in bed I was sleeping. There. I would I like an investigation up. into this matter. I woke up 15 minutes before the plane hit I the second building. I would like an investigation. Yeah, how and I was convenient. watching it live. How convenient, Paul. And then I didn't go to work that? that day. Do you have any proof of that? Yes, Paul? I do, dude. I have, have uh, employment records. I was at with Starbucks. I was called oh, on that, that day, sir. Faked. I was called on that day, sir. Here's a sir. Time to move on. Time to move on. Cutting the fat so. All right. So this is a street fight breaking out over a flag burning. This is, is it the FedEx one? Yeah. Yeah. It's this FedEx driver fucking stops you from burning the flag. What? I just let him burn the flag. Get out! 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 Get out!
told you guys. Wait a minute. Did, did the guy who saved the flag just throw the flag down on the ground yeah, in he anger? Yeah, he spiked it in anger. <laughs> what a fucking what? asshole. Just yeah. stay out of it. Let Dude, it I love the it. flag. Do you know, um, this was all over uh, the more right-wing subreddits today. I saw, I don't know, quite a few of them. Like, this guy is a hero. From now on, I'm using FedEx. Yeah, don't burn the flag. Don't burn that plastic piece of shit made in China. Because it means something to me. Because my daddy done hey, died for that flag. Me. You don't like, you don't like, get the fuck out. Yeah, shut oh, up. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know what? We got rules about assault and battery and theft. If you don't like it, get the fuck out. Get out. <laughs> Jesus. Why are those no, fucking no, no, beeps so fucking loud? I know. That was a street fight. A fake tough guy. That was just a little scuffle. That was not a street fight. That was yeah. a, I mean, look, but you know, uh, yeah, that's he, the best part is when he spikes the flag it, that yeah. he's so. If you're all for about. freedom, if you're all for freedom, then let the people burn the flag. You know, because if even if you were in the military, that you didn't you're not free to burn yeah. the flag. Are you truly free? Yeah, you, you didn't fight for the flag. You fought for the country and the people. Yeah, did you fight for the piece else. of plastic made yeah. in Huang Guang, China? Is he a veteran? I don't even. Or did you fight for the concept well, they were yelling that about flag veterans, represents, which is they, freedom? They, they were yelling about like veterans. Oh, okay. I'm assuming that guy probably was. Who that's cares? Probably, that's probably why he was pissed off. Well, you know some what, of those sir? Guys do that. You're suffer if that's true. Your suffering had nothing to do with that flag. And people burning that flag, your suffering had to do with their right to do that. Get it through. Some people just don't get it. Oh, God. I have a doozy coming up here. Oh, shit. Paul and TJ are going to love this one. TJ can already see the title. Oh, no. Dude. Oh, God. I, I'm, so, I'm glad I can't. I'm, All right, Paul. Paul. I'm closing my Paul, eyes. Fuck take you. It, take it down already to, like, take it down to six. Okay, I'm down. Take to, it down to six. This is a six. Oh, God. Take it okay, down to six. Yeah, this is a see. six. I'm at a six. Interestingly enough, I still found one uh, channel uh, still broadcasting. Hold on. This is like... Some more ponage. Uh, this guy's going to deliver oh, some Oh, is footage. this the Mad Shangy? I don't know who it is. He's been a troll forever. Listen to what he For, says. Some of you might remember when I was trolling the shit out of Richard Coughlin because yeah, he was scamming the charity, breaking the law. No, Not only uh, he breaking the law the because he was collecting donations without a charity's <laughs> knowledge or permission. Oh, he was up. breaking the law because he was doing these song covers and... Uh, he was charging money for it, and it's illegal. And you can do, you can do. Uh, there, there's a loophole where you can upload. Dude, this guy's nose makes mine look like fucking Michael Jackson's nose. He sound, he looks like he should talk like oil, oil, oil. Today uh, was such a mitzvah on YouTube without having to pay royalties, but you can't charge money for it. Wow. Uh, actually, people record covers all the time. Um, some of the networks have actually have deals with these because I mean, like w some are owned by Disney and major corporations, so you actually can. Yeah, you do pay a fee basically, but you can actually resell yeah. them and do other things with them. So that's actually not true. But you, you, got, you do have why, to deal with. Why them. are you expecting this guy to fucking? He's an idiot. Grasp he, that new one. Oh, just Any, wait. Anytime just something wait. bad happens, let me tell you what Shangi is. Okay. Anytime something bad happens to a popular person. And everybody's like, oh, man, that sucks. And, uh, you know, because, like, the whole Vimeo oh. thing at least got resolved. He's the dude that comes around and goes, they broke the law somehow. Fuck but you. It, anyways, Sour it was, Skittle. there was a big whole drama about it that I played a, a big part of. And it was funny as fuck. And I Not think really. I stumbled upon something that was actually worse than what Coughlin was doing. TJ okay. and Paul are straight up breaking the law by committing uh, piracy. Are you, uh, sir? Are you an expert in the law of any of any kind? Yeah, I'm. I'm sure this guy's got a law degree and yeah. about twenty years of fucking copyright law experience under his belt. Yeah, because <laughs> some um, trial experience. Yeah, we've no. Actually, we've actually talked to copyright lawyers, and uh, what you're saying is not as clear cut he's as a, you think. He's it a is. pudgy, so, pale, hook nosed idiot yeah. on the internet, bloviating about shit he couldn't possibly understand. Are you describing yourself or? No. Well, yeah, me too. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Stop now. Yeah, stop. 
Stop, uh, Paul. So, um, if you're someone who wants uh. to see 2016's Ghostbusters, or you just want to see how bad it is, but you can't imagine actually. When Paul wears those glasses, he looks like the offspring of Hagrid finish. and Harry yeah. Potter. <laughs> I still have them. I have to you. fix them. One of the yeah. lenses popped out. Uh, if you're up. anything like me, it's kind of inevitable that you're going to watch this movie. And if you do, um, there's no better way to do it than with stoned Paul and TJ with you, right? That's right. Because, I mean, uh, we, we make it fun. You know, we If you're going to watch this piece of shit movie, you're going to want to have someone holding your hand, tearing it apart with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what we Why do. are we watching we this whole fucking thing down, that we made we already? I don't know. Because he's playing it, I guess. Yeah. I mean, aren't you uh, committing piracy, sir? On Vimeo, providing our content with no commentary. We're going to hit you with a DMCA. We're going to hit you with Sony would fucking rape us in the ass. They don't care about fair use. They don't give a shit. Now, I don't give a fuck about people who download uh, movies off of the Pirate Bay or, or oh, really? streaming. Uh, what? Oh, but, oh, but you're but, so principal with the, but now, the Pirate Bay makes somebody some money. Think about what you're talking about, Shangy. I'm fine with now, piracy. I don't give a shit about pi real piracy, but this thing that isn't piracy, I'm outraged. Where these guys yeah. provide constant, ongoing, running, transformative commentary over an original work. Yeah, I got a problem with that. Dude. But the guys that run the big websites where everybody steal everything, no problem. All right, all right Paul, come on. Let's let's not let's not fuck around here. All right, look. Uh, you crispy got us, baldy, dude. crispy baldy, crispy, crispy baldy, baldy, crispy baldy, crispy That's baldy, all I'm crispy, baldy crispy baldy, crispy baldy, crispy baldy, crispy baldy. I have to say it, Ben. Listen, no. My Glanderson favorite kind of Booper. chicken Glanderson is crispy. Booper, yeah. Crispy, crispy, crispy. Crispy, baldy, booper. Glanderson, booper. Crispy, baldy, crispy, baldy. Glanderson, booper. Glanderson, booper. Crispy, booper. Glanderson, booper. Glanderson, booper. Crispy, baldy, crispy, baldy. <laughs> crispy, booper. Right. Glanderson. All right. Continue the story. Pirate sites. People uh, all right, wanting look, to watch. Dude, you got us dead to rights, all right? But... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll over on an, uh, people that have been even worse than us. Mm -hmm. There's these fuckers. Mystery Science Theater 3000. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. Yeah, i heard of them. Apparently, they've been doing this for fucking years. They should be in prison. They should be. For life. For the level of piracy going on there is insane. They've done it to countless films. Those fucking loudmouth robots. Of shit robots dude, and this fucking witty repartee. Dude, this is, uh, I mean, I hate uh, to say this because I held on to my old original, like, letterbox webcam for a long time, but I mean, come on, Gord. Crispy Baldy. Why is he still in a letterbox? What's going on? Watch free movies. I don't care. Do what you want. But if somebody. I mean, can't a, a lawyer uh, afford a so nice camcorder? Live and let live. Do what you want. But somehow, because they did it, it's bad. For what reason? Yeah, because we. The like, law. Yeah, because we made a commentary track over a fucking <laughs> original work. We're somehow Hitler. But the dudes that rake in dough with websites that steal not only uh, movie content, well, dude, but ours. That is a good point. Honestly, but if you said you're Hitler, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Have yeah. you considered Crispy Baldy? I. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but I have tried a uh, uh, Glanderson Crispy. Oh, okay. What about a... Uh, and a Baldy Booper. Could you... What about I've a tried Booper a Baldy Booper, Booper and I love... Booper Coon? Coon? No, I've tried a Crispy I will take, Coon. I will take crispy coon. The, coon. the Coon train to Crispy Baldy Country. I got a Coon Award crispy for eating crispy. crispy Coons one time. Cool. Cool. Like, TJ is going to complain and call people cheap for not <laughs> spending $3 on a movie he's pirating and breaking the law. Then of course I'm going to call him out and make what? fun of him for it, and I'm, and I'm going to make fun of everybody that. Dude, been... you make fun of yourself T with your very presence. People. Yeah, your very existence is a lot. All we all we really have to do to refute this, the only reason we don't is because we don't want to bore our audience with just you. But we just play it. Let's like, no reasonable person is watching this, going, "Yep, this weird, shallow individual <laughs> is right." <laughs> Oh, TJ, uh, when did you call people fucking cheap? I I, I don't recall that. Uh, maybe I whatever. did. I probably did. It, 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 it was like just a, a little sales tactic yeah. or whatever. But you know, I mean, it, it's just like a. We we made we commented over the fucking entire film. We didn't let the fucking film's original audio. We were we altered it into both visually and in terms of its spirit and message, whatever. Barely any of the original audio from the film is we actually talked used. Over the whole we talked thing. over the entire fucking film, Fuck providing our own commentary, providing our own unique jokes. Shangy. What? 
Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what, uh, ben, Crispy Baldy? Glenderson Booper. Glenderson Baldy? Baldy Booper? Baldy Booper? Booper Baldy? Booper. They're going to comment Booper. on this video Booper. and fucking argue with me about shit they don't know about. Glenderson. And say it, it's, it's covered by fair use because it's not... I'll, if you people come here and start commenting that he's protected by fair use, I'm going to... Own the shit out of you, cause cool. you're fucking you wrong. Can't, you can't. How do you know? What you're talking about, how do you and know? You're fucking stupid. Based on what? Number one, you can't. You can't play an entire movie. Yeah, you can. Right. Even if you put. Even if you on a separate like yeah, split you can. screen. Add your yes, own. you can. So, <laughs> you're not an authority. You're what about a blow piece cramp? of shit. He's got a fucking blow cramp. Come over and <laughs> come over and work that out on my dick, Shangi. <laughs> 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 Yeah, this is so laughable. Fuck this kid. Yeah, this is the, the, he, kid. He, hey guys, this is the this is the arbiter of copyright law. They can Leave tell. Him. Him. They can tell. <laughs> Crispy Baldy. <laughs> <laughs> They can tell you whatever you want to know on this issue. I was wondering if I wanted to make a phone call right now, because like a, a, a phone call to a, to a certain yeah, dude. Well, I would be I willing. To, I don't even know. I don't even. I know. would be willing to be the voice of said phone you, call. I'll tell you what. Like you could come up with like an interesting. I, I already have it. All right. Let's just place this all place a little phone call. I don't even I don't even know who I'm calling right now. Like no, uh, random, right. Dial just a random like, number. Yeah, this is a new segment yeah. where we're gonna call people and talk about the issues. Right. Fair enough. Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Blog Talk Radio. Please hold, and you will be able to listen to the show. Hey, oh, no. uh, I'm trying my I best. probably mute this, know, sir. What they're doing is pretty damn significant as far as never leaving another person alone. So. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. Oh. So, I'm not going to play his audio. Yeah, so. Well, you know what? We They couldn't hear it, though, because I had it. Oh, uh, okay. Well, oh, not, well, if you leave that imperceptibly kind of low... I'll be able to hear if somebody comes on and says hello. Well, you want to do Someone's that? Someone's gonna go tell him what's going on. Oh wow, well, yeah. yeah. If we, I, I, is he st did you hang up? I did, yeah, but okay. but we can do it. Like I, mean, I can. I'd be willing to try. I'm ready to roll. I can kill the Skype audio so it doesn't broadcast Fine. until until we get something. But Fine, fair enough. Let's move on. Boom, boom, boom. Shangy dude, <laughs> look at the blow cramp. La 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 I am so fucking full of shit Alright, so uh do do you wanna do this or do you wanna just watch the next video? Um I usually just watch it. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Um is this uh razorfish? No. No it this? is. This is asshole consultant. Oh, oh that douchebag. We cover him every now and again. Yeah. Hey. Oh shit. I can't give you medical advice. Uh huh. I can't give you legal advice. At least you're smart enough to know that. Unlike the last mental, asshole. Like an actual real mental problem, or I think you're, I, I can't give you psychological advice. Everything else. Your <laughs> audio is shit. Yeah, dude. I, I feel like there's something wrong with my fucking head yeah. with my speakers. Everything you know, else, like a, ladies and gentlemen. If you want some advice. I also, don't ask for don't asshole. ask for sound advice because you know asshole consulting needs to get an audio like consultant. Asshole, have a monopoly on the world of truth. Hey, Cappy, I was arguing with some social. You're you're the only professional asshole. Seriously, no, not even close. <laughs> not even close oh. to the only professional. I'm sitting asshole. next to one right now. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you're not you're not even an asshole. You don't have enough like clout to be that. You're just irrelevant. Oh, you know what? Is it as clout state. necessary to be an asshole? And they were yeah. saying all the crap. You gotta have one question. person in the First world question. that goes, Do that they guy Nato. And are means they it. In a socialist country? Nobody That's cares about him. Are they in North Korea? Are they in Vietnam? And actually, Vietnam is pretty much more capitalist. Are they living in communist China? Are, are they in Finland or so, uh, Sweden? Are they in Norway? Are they here in the United States? The first question is, why the fuck are you? I'm a soldier. Why the fuck are you here? You should hear, I'm a social, and then you should be me and say, why the fuck are you here? And because you're, by the fact, I'm a, I'll, I'll abbreviate, but I'll get to that. I was born here. 
That's what happened. I didn't, you know, like if I had had like my pick of countries before life began and I could like look at options and, oh, I don't, you know, I'm, I don't know. Let's I'm kind of tempted countries. by this whole starving to death Dude, in Afghanistan cool. deal. But you know what? I'm going to go with America. Like that didn't happen. Can you rename this to like boring as fuck uh, consulting? Because every time he comes <laughs> on, it's so goddamn boring. It's not to the point. Why does he have his fucking headphones around his neck? Like if, you, if you're not wearing headphones and you're recording a video, it's time to take Why them off. Why is he off. making a fucking video in his kitchen? Is this a cooking video? Unless you're going back and forth studio, rapidly, like editing audio, and you, you're, you know, that's the pe like. If you have your headphones around your neck, it means you're going to put them on real quick. Like, but you're making a whole video. Take them off. What's another new like? Okay, so we had Crispy Baldy, we had uh, Glanderson Booper, Booper What's Baldy, Bo Booper Baldy. I mean, that's Booper good. Baldy. I was wondering if we could come up with something totally new. Um, um, hold up, let me think of something. Uh. Let your scalp breathe. <laughs> Let your scalp breathe. Breathing scalp. Let your scalp. Just, I, I just want to like put it out there, like, hey, let your scalp breathe. Yeah, I mean, I want to breathe. Look, I'm let gonna, your scalp breathe. I'm gonna let do your it scalp for a second breathe. right let now, just breathe. to show I ain't bullshit. Let we're not. your, let your scalp breathe. Look, let right your scalp now. breathe. breathe Paul. Look right now. Let your scalp let, breathe. Feel it, like it's right. breathing. Like Scotty, can you feel it breathing there? Oh, it's yeah. breathing. Breathing, dude. Intellectually honest. And TJ, let your scalp breathe, man. TJ, can breathe. you let your scalp breathe, please? TJ, my wigga. Let your scalp breathe. So you're breathe. at best with ignorant people, if not outright liars. Ben, who, who pull those headphones down and let your scalp breathe for a second, Ben. That's true. We all got to do saying, that. Okay. Yeah, everybody. I'm just saying. Let it breathe. <laughs> that's all I want to say. And I'm sorry to interrupt. But let your scalp breathe. Let your scalp breathe. You should spread oh, that well, message well, around. Yeah, everybody. I mean, like, yeah, let people know. know. Everyone needs to know uh, that. Karl Marx to excuse laziness and theft. That so, and it's like arguing with a zealot. That's that's a better analogy. You are arguing with a like with a religious zealot. They're not going to. The yeah, so your side is just nuanced and honest. The other side is a bunch of liars. Gotcha. Makes perfect sense. That seems nuanced. <laughs> what? What's going on, Ben? Uh, I don't know. No. Nothing. Uh, nothing. You know, people are just letting their scalps breathe. Dude. Yeah, that's the great. captain is is hilarious. That's what's happening. <laughs> the captain. Oh, the captain. Asshole consulting. That, that captain. Fuck DP. Fuck you too, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Fuck him. You want to fuck and DP? Depends on what you look like. Come on. How these guys know who the fuck I should follow and why I ought to kill somebody behind a tree. And and uh, but that lot they don't care about it. That socialism is. You want to kill somebody behind a tree? Be very clear. Socialism, Green Party, uh, going green, going <laughs> organic. Does anybody know you know, anything this dude is talking about? Green Party, socialism. Look, going up to the tree, I'm going down dude, the three. I'm anyone, sorry, I'm just thinking about letting really my scalp paying? breathe. Yeah, yeah, I'm just thinking about scalp, Glanderson Booper. Dude, I'm just thinking when, about Crispy Baldy, you know? Uh, TJ, TJ, can you back <laughs> me up I'm just thinking all these weird, random thoughts. I can't focus on hey, much man, of anything cool. else besides know, those things. I know you've you know? been wearing that beanie all day. Yeah. And when you took it off right now, let your scalp breathe. Yeah. Did it not, like, give you a nice, lightheaded, refreshed feeling? Oh, yeah, I felt so much better. What, what is it about letting your scalp breathe that makes it, like, so tingling and nice? I don't know. You know, it just it makes you feel like, you know, that crispiness that's usually there. The crispy TJ, baldy that's yeah. under there? Do you want to look into what shampoo you have? Because I hear some shampoos let your scalp breathe even more. So yeah. even greater scalp uh, breathing. Wow. Up to 20% greater scalp breathing, TJ. If you want to let your scalp breathe, TJ, there's some certain shampoos you really need to look into. Hey, TJ. Oh, you into black girls now, TJ? What are you talking about, Paul? You into black girls now? I don't know. Oh, I see how it is. You used to just be into white girls, TJ. You into black girls now? Yeah. Hmm. Crispy baldy. Crispy baldy. Crispy Let, let your scalp breathe. Let your scalp breathe, man. That's all I'm saying. Take, take your coon award. Like, there's nothing wrong wearing a hat, but let your scalp breathe, you know? Like let it breathe. Global, whatever. It is a religion, first of all. Even atheism, which is the absence of religion, the absence of God, where you don't believe in a God, even that becomes a religion because how, are, you know, how many fucking atheists do you have to say, yeah, I heard you the first 3,000... What? So what, what atheists are you hearing in your everyday life? You're just, they're going... No God, no God, no God. Hey, buddy, no God. I mean, it used it's to my be ring that tone. Way. It's just like no God, no God, there, no there, God. There was a no time. God, no God, no I will God. cop to this as an atheist, right? And TJ better, yeah, because he ran the ASU. Um, there, there, there was a point in time where, like, mainstream, at least YouTube atheism, and maybe wider, it was all about like 
There is no God. Fuck you. Fuck your God, nigger. You remember that video, TJ? Yeah. That shameful video that but you made. There's a difference between putting that Niggets. on a YouTube video yeah. and actually going around and telling people, yeah. there's no God. He wasn't hey, going to. no God. Yeah. Anyone want to argue there's, about there's God? There's a difference. Yeah, putting something out publicly like, I'm going to put a forum or a blog or something. If this guy sees it, he doesn't have to go to that site. You know, he, he can avoid that site. Ye going to his face and yelling about it, that's an entirely different Who thing. in his life is constantly harassing? Ringing him about yeah. there not being a god. Sometimes you're an atheist. Now, How is that a religion? There's nothing else to say. There's nothing and else to say. Not. Yeah, because there's no other there religious forces the in the world trying to control people. Yeah. It's public ownership and the means of production. All right, always, you, know, you know when there'd be nothing else to say argument. when I can say there's no God to any person and they just nod their head in agreement. Oh, no, dude, then I, there's no more subject matter go, left to discuss. Or they go like, I disagree, but I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like what you think. Whatever, sure. No, I, lo I love this shit with, with anti, uh, like basically if you were anti-atheism, they're just like, look, if you don't believe in it, then just shut up. Don't you? Know, what else is there to say? You say you don't believe. So you don't even. It's like okay. Well, that's not the world we live in. If the world we lived in, I could just be that. I could have my opinion about this thing, and you could have yours. Fine. That's not how it fucking works. It's because at every turn, religion is trying to spread itself. And, and anytime someone points it out, like we don't, like religion is good for society. It's like you're a piece of shit for trying to uh, trying to control our religious beliefs. Like no. Are you getting the Are you getting the giggles from your scalp breathing over there, Ben? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it gives you the giggles, doesn't it? Ben let his scalp breathe, and look at him now, he's giggling. See, I'm telling you, it really does work when you let your scalp breathe. That's what happens. You're, you're <laughs> not such a crispy so baldy if you let your scalp breathe. You know what? That's true. If you're a crispy baldy, let your scalp breathe, and you won't be anymore. That's, I mean, that's, that's what I'm true? saying. Like, you know, I was saying earlier, that crispiness you get... Yeah, you know, you know who I'm never, liking. you know who yeah. never let, fails to let their scout breathe, Glanderson Booper. Also, mm. rac I hear raccoons. It's raccoons, uh, coons are uh, liable to let crispy their scouts breathe. Yeah, crispy have you ever coons. worn like you wear a coonskin cap? Yeah, and then like, but you take it off because you want to let your scout. Sometimes breathe. you gotta take like the coon Daniel out, Bowie. off to you know, <laughs> like Davy Crockett. Yeah. Davy Crockett. Oh yeah, Davy. Davy Crockett. You know, Davey we are Crockett. visiting the Alamo soon, and that's where that <sighs> was. Oh, yeah, that was where Davy Crockett died, right? It, dude, the Alamo, I gotta tell you guys for for, for I, reals, it's underwhelming as fuck. Yeah, it's just I like know. An, it's an, I know. you're like, uh. But but what kind of cap did Davy Crockett wear? A, a coon, a coon, coon skin. Uh, was it coon? Yeah. Yep. It wasn't yeah. a. <coughs> I'm not sure. It was. <coughs> it was coon skin. To that well. <coughs> If I bust my ass off, I become a doctor, and you sit up and you jerk off the internet porn in, uh, cool. in college, and you become a janitor. Uh, what? And Hold on. How do those two relate? You, you're you saying, like, somehow jerking off to internet porn ruins your life, and then you end up becoming a janitor? <laughs> yeah, I, I, whatever. Like, what? It's his warped narrative. What? I mean, like, how do, how do you get from that to, to where you are now? Like... How does that happen? Well, Ben, you have to remember in, in his worldview, there's basically people who work hard and they get ahead, and then just like everyone else who doesn't get ahead are just lazy. He's saying people that like jerk off, they they just spend all their yep. time jerking off so they don't go to class. Yep. Their dicks would fall off eventually. I mean, like <laughs> Ben, uh, he, he's just talking that they're lazy. He, they're, they're not doing anything important. Oh, jerking off is important. Fuck that. More important than your schooling, Ben. Uh, well, I mean, if you if you're like so horny that you can't concentrate on what's going on in class, then yes. Well, that's, that's sad, Ben. That's sad that you're so horny you can't even go to your classes. Oh man, I don't have classes. I'm just giving an example. I'm giving you an example, Ben. Okay. <laughs> redistribute the, my property or my tax. Yeah, or let's else redistribute it, is. it. Give that me is the redistribution of wealth. Dude, I'm fine with that. I, Bring um, it on. I want all of it. Give, give me it all to your. Me. You know, sounds good to me. Yeah, cool. Give us your wealth Hurry up. now. I'm waiting, bitch. Yeah, I want to let my scalp breathe some uh, Bermuda air. Look, I'm fair. Uh, you, you, you can hire a moving company. I want all your shit in my fucking house. I want everything you own. Mm -hmm. I want to redistribute that wealth. So come on, bring it come on. Come on down, Paul. Would you like? Would you like a piece of this, Paul? I mean, honestly, looking at it, I'm not sure. It might, <laughs> it might be a liability. I yeah, you might just be inheriting some debt. Yeah, it just might be like a rotten ass place. I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to look at it first. Yeah, it, it, and uh, uh -huh. well, it is. I hired an appraiser. Dude, Paul is actually an insult. Dude, Ben still has the scalp breathing giggles. Uh, yeah, it is the redistribution one, but the means of production, it, it, it's not. 
forget means of production. Yeah, well, it's yeah. like, yeah, we'll produce everything. You still control the means of production, but we'll, you know, for example, the United States, you take 40% of it away. By default, the U.S. government and state and local is a 40% owner of all corporations because of the tax rate, because they get 40% of the production of the profits. So there's another line, or some shit like that. The commie said that workers should own whatever they produce and collectively own their workplace. He also. All right, next video. Yeah, yeah. Poop. Ladies oh, no, no, no. I can't do this one. I'll show this to you another time. Someone made, like, a wrestling, like, video game wrestling thing. And, and it has, like, uh, it has TJ in it and other people, too. Cool. All right, here's here's a video that has TJ in it. YouTubers, though. they love making videos, love their fans, and sometimes love scamming people. Here are cool. YouTubers that try to pull a fast one on us. No <laughs> oh damn! Awesome. Is this another one of those pigeon eyes or whatever pigeon no. eye media? No. no. Oh, okay. This is Number obviously one, some other crap. Sam and Nia, Christian family blogger pigeon. Sam and Nia, love letting the world so in on their lives. So is that all we're watching this so for? Is that TJ pregnant, was used for a brief second? To let their subscribers know. He wasn't used for just a second. Oh. He comes oh. back. Well, yeah, Paul. I'm let obviously me play on the, the video. List for oh, I didn't know. I thought they were just showing. Why don't you shut up, knuckle? No. Whoa. My journey, I'm gonna probably be doing little. Let's just scalp breathe, Ben. This is Where's crazy. the killing, Ben? Where, you know what? That's uh, a good question, Ben. Later, can, can I ask a question real quick, man? And the internet yeah. cried foul and called a miscarriage suspect, suggesting it was a ploy. Let's just skip to my part. Fuck all this shit. Yeah, we'll find you. I don't care about this. Where's the killing? Where's the killing? I've got the power. I've been silenced. You've been silenced, Paul, for good reason. Where's the killing, Ben? Trevor Martin. I've got the power. I mean, he killed my mic. So I've got that. the power. <laughs> you do have the power. <laughs> I'll be quiet. I'm sorry. I guess you're the... Oh, uh, that's not you. No, I didn't. I never made no sixty. You're in it though. Nothing. This is like a. Oh there is, yeah, there yeah, is. yeah. I'm Taroja Kincaid. Who lied to their fans? Okay, let's hear it. The amazing atheist. The amazing atheist is no stranger to controversy. <laughs> if a man had designed this bottle, it would come out more effectively. But he hit a real low when one of his many crowdfunded campaigns, such as Creationist Road Trip. Oh. oh I thought it was an atheist road trip, but creationist road trip. Yeah, are you a creationist? A, you got anything I, you want to say about that, TJ? I don't know. I I was uh, I was gonna go around the world spreading creationism. Gonna? Yeah, but, or are you gonna, TJ? I'm gonna do it. Because the people no, no, want this. No, Look I at mean this. I'm not a creationist anymore, unfortunately. Well, so. we're gonna no. It was an atheist road. trip. He got it wrong. Oh, but it was an atheist road trip where you were gonna talk to creationists <laughs> yeah. and other shit and see the world. But that's see true. The US. We got drunk and we decided we're doing the RV trip at some point this year. Maybe we're doing it or 2018. Maybe not this latest. year, maybe next year, but we're doing it. It's happening. Yeah. We're gonna hold you accountable, TJ. I'm Sometime doing it next year. I would like to go on an amazing atheist road trip around. The oh, so it's I agree. I, I don't remember that. Oh, I don't remember shit. doing Here, that. Here's the evidence finally. I agree. I never said I didn't, I just said I don't remember doing it. <laughs> well, we're gonna help you do it. We're gonna help you we're gonna be a do good it, person, though. TJ. We're gonna fucking do it. No, now you're all gung ho. What what happened TJ, to that? Where, TJ where's will, your gusto, TJ? TJ will want to quit and go home and sleep in his own bed we're within doing like it, a well, week. We're doing it. That's all people need. TJ's to know. already trying to like get out of get out of staying in Europe the whole time too. Yeah, he, he's he's yeah, he's garbage, he, dude. Yeah. We all know it. And free speech vids, please. Contribute below, even if it's only a dollar. And the projects never materialized, but the money materialized in his. Cool. The so money materialized. That's not from free speech vids, though. Yeah, so that's from not productive. Yeah, so you're lying right here. Uh, free speech vids was a website. You can go on Wayback Machine and see the site did exist. So, eh, wrong. Uh, as far as not productive, that's just been beaten into the ground. But it's already been explained that all the money was spent on development. I mean, and uh, then we hit a, that we hit a wall of like, well, we can't run the site anymore. I may have no money to I, do so. I put two videos on free speech vids. So if the site never existed, I need to look into getting some Seroquel. Yeah, His I bank account. I do believe it was up for nearly a year. So His that bank is account. our business yeah. strategy. If you like this video, check out all these YouTube. Cool. All right. So this guy, is, this is basically bullshit. Well, it was clickbait to begin with. Of course. What did you expect? 
He didn't even mention the one that everyone talks about, and that was the not. Pro- well, he not showed. Well, he the, showed us, uh, but he didn't even mention it. it this was the most Did he lazily do no research. It, yeah, I mean, like that's what I'm saying. This is totally just clickbait. This was not. Re- this is not supposed to be well researched. Like, oh, this is informative journalism or something. This is like, yeah, look here for the top ten. Blah, Fast, blah, lazy, jabbity, jabbity, blibbity, blue, flippity, flobity, flippity, flappities. Crispy, baldy, crispy. The top baldy, ten ways crispy, to let baldy. your scalp breathe. The top ten ways to ask a coworker where the killing is. Where's the killing, Ben? Yeah, where's the killing? Where's the killing? Where's the killing? That's all I want to know. Where's the killing? 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 Where is it? Where's the killing? Seriously, where's the killing? Seen the killing? Where's the killing? I haven't seen the killing. Where's the killing? Where's the killing? Where's the killing, Crispy? Wait, wait, wait. Are you guys saying where's Krillin? No, no, no. Where's the killing? Where's the killing? Where's the killing? Where's the killing? Where's the killing, Crispy? Where is the killing? You say crispy? What, crispy? What? Well, no, it's just <laughs> in general crispies. Oh, crispy. I mean, you know, crispy like baldies. I mean, you can always oh, oh, like crispy, crispy baldies. You, you, you ever notice? You know, like you ever notice when you're like you're feeling like kind of crispy, but then you know maybe a little baldy, and yeah. then you kind of just like Glanderson Booper that so shit up a yeah, little bit. Yeah, and, and then you know, oh, where's the killing? Where's the killing? Is it like cocoa crispies? <laughs> you know, <laughs> cocoa. Dude, I Coco like crispies. Always, I know you Coco always say crispies. I digress. Coco crispies. Coco crispies. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Hashtag Coco crispies, man. Hashtag Coco crispies, dude. And I want Coco crispies. Can we get some fan art of Coco crispies, please? <laughs> yeah, we want Coco crispies. We want, you know what I mean? We love Coco, Coco crispies. crispies. You know what we're talking about? Coco maybe some. Crispy maybe balls. maybe Gland. Maybe Glanderson Booper brand Coco crispy baldies. Can we make that happen? Uh the, yeah. you know cuz you know Glanderson there's so Booper much, makes there's the best so much to play cereal. with you know there's so much to play the with the best the best cereal dude coco crispy baldies dude hashtag coco crispies <laughs> Let's show Coco Crispy some love because they are delicious and hilarious. Everybody wants their Coco Crispies, <coughs> dude. Everybody wants their Coco Crispies. I mean, Scotty, can I ask a question of you guys? Now, I don't mean to insinuate nothing, but does anybody in here love the Coco Crispies enough to maybe throw something down on a um, an oh, art an art contest, dude? <laughs> the best, the best, co- the best Coco Crispy wins, maybe. I mean, it doesn't have to be a big one, but we'll we'll just feed. We'll I mean, feature I really want to see the these. Oh yeah, that's a good one. You know what, Paul? There was some contest me and you wanted. Yeah, to do. we were talking about one, and I didn't want it. That's why, I, you know. Yeah. What What is the What was the one? We were, do you remember? Fuck, we, dude, we were so stoned. Fuck. Shit, dude. My name's Coco, and I swing from the trees. I live in the jungle. I'm a monkey, you see. When Page I get TJ. hungry, I'll oh, even yeah. eat leaves, Page but I'd rather TJ. have a bowl of Coco Krispies. <laughs> TJ, <laughs> yeah, thou, Dude, thou art. You know what else was knave. legit though, too, Ben? Count cool. Chocula. I help myself often, and I try to say please, but I'm faster than the others. They cannot catch me. <laughs> Why do you know so much of that? <laughs> was that a monkey that sang that? <laughs> yeah, it was. No. <laughs> yeah, it was. Everybody knows I'm not scamming. It was indeed. Oh my! Yeah, do you remember those commercials? I remember. I remember every word. (laughs) Crispy Baldy. I I don't remember every word, but I remember the commercials. Coco Krispies. So TJ. Yeah. You know me and fucking me and Paul. Me and you and Paul been fucking. We've been fucking. (laughs) Well, (laughs) Well, hey man, notwithstanding. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Without a side. Right. (laughs) We came up with a great contest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look, this is the best contest. And me and Paul, my associate Paul, we know contests. Paul, we you do. Know contests. I've right. run the best contest. You know he that, Scotty. We, oh, yes. Together we have. Yeah. We've run the best contest. And we're going to do it again, guys. Okay. Do you want me to tell them what oh, they're going to do yes, or Paul, are you going to tell we're them? Gonna make, we're going to make Twitter great again. We're, we're going to make, make this podcast great yes. again. We're going to make everything here great again, We're going to make Paul. this contest thing great again, too, because this one's going to be great. Yes, Paul, go ahead. We would like everybody to, you know, keep in mind, the rules still apply. If it's pornographic and we can't show it, it goes, it. it goes in the trash. We're done. Okay, hold on. Pause that for just one second. Let me finish. <laughs> Let me wrap this up because that's hilarious. Look, the best picture of Pageboy TJ being reprimanded by his true master, Sir Eats A Lot. Now, we can't be pornographic, but any reprimand that you think would be appropriate of a gentleman yeah, of Sir Eatsalot's stature and, and we can credibility, put it on the show. if we can put it on the show, you have an entry. So send it to me, at Paul's Ego on Twitter. I will collect them. And what's the... What, Scotty, I turn it over to you for the prize. 
Hmm. What do you think this is worth? Because this is a big you know, one. You know, you, I think the prize is worth at least $150. $150 Amazon yep. gift card, perhaps? Yeah, PayPal or Amazon gift card. Whichever you like. Yep. Your choice. <laughs> That's TJ. Kellogg's Cocoa Krispies. Kellogg's Cocoa Krispies. God damn, I want some Cocoa Krispies. Oh, Cocoa God. Krispies. Effective Baldi. advertising. Yeah, yeah, give me some Cocoa Krispies. Baldi. I want Cocoa Krispies. Cocoa Krispies. Cocoa Baldi. Krispies. I... Glanderson Booper brand Cocoa Krispies Baldies. Oh, yeah. I guess we should have mentioned Sargon since he's like in our thumbnail and shit. Free Sargon. Free, yeah, dude. Hashtag honestly. free Sargon. And, uh, TJ, can you, because I only just, go just watch, heard about it. Just go watch my most recent video. It's in Okay, the, fair well, enough. Even if you don't want to watch the whole thing, just, I just watch the first that, like, two minutes and I'll talk audience, about it. Well, like, I've heard from uh, uh, the quick. I heard on Twitter that people are saying that they feel in some ways is just black uh, gay was, porn. Some yeah, people, too, yeah, because he was spamming. He was spamming gay porn all right accounts. That's Who my cares? that's my sentiment, and I I defend him against that stupid There's shit. There's porn it, accounts first, all over Twitter. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the two, first two and a half minutes of my most recent video are all about it. So check it out. Even if you don't give a shit about the video, the rest of the video, go watch. Free it. Sargon. To learn free about him. Sargon. Free Seriously, him. free Sargon, dude. Hashtag free Sargon. I don't even really like Sargon so, as a guy, but free him. So people in people in the chat are asking about the lawsuit, and what we're going to say at this point is we're we're taking advice uh, from our lawyer under consideration, and at this point. We haven't made any decisions, you know. Yeah, we're probably going to make some kind of final judgment on that uh, when we return. Because we, we, have, we have to decide. Statement. Yeah, we have to decide where we're actually going to take this. Yeah, so we're going to talk to him one more time because we, we, we basically laid out the options to us and we've decided to take a few weeks. And when we get back from Albuquerque, we're going to talk to him and, you know, then we'll have an update at that point. Yep. So you will get an update on that when Absolutely. we return. Absolutely. <clears throat> Coco Krispies I am a monkey and I swing from a tree I'm so high on the Coco Krispies Ben is mean but I know he likes me I'm too funny and too tricky Coco Krispies. Cocoa I don't really Krispies. see enough Coco Krispying going on. Yeah, there's no Coco Crisp. I mean, I, I, I mean, guess I, people don't like Coco Krispies. I guess. Show your love for Coco Krispies. Coco Krispie balls. Any way you can, <coughs> you know. Booper brand. Booper brand Coco Krispies. Not that Kellogg's <laughs> shit. No, no, none of that. All right, bullshit. let's let's address General Mills. the the retarded shit in the chat. Right, What's what, it, is what it? are they saying? Like, like they're saying, like uh, that they're trying to pretend like we that they know what we're gonna do with this lawsuit, mm. and 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 then you know they're they're saying that that we're scamming people. Um, guys, can I? I'm not gonna talk about anything that we're gonna do because, like you said, Ben, we're, we don't know. But can I tell you what I know that we're gonna do? We're gonna do whatever's in the best interest of this podcast to keep it running, and if that means that we pursue this action. We do it. And if that means that we do something else, we do that. Guys, look, law is not something that just magically happens overnight. It's a long yeah. process, and this is a civil case. Or yeah. with, with that being Lawsuits, said... To be honest with you guys, are not hold on. fast moving and, and, and things, hold on. Okay. With, with that being said, uh, we're... We collected that money for legal purposes, so it, any money that isn't going to be used for legal purposes would end up being returned. Either, right. I, either that or... <clears throat> exactly. stay, I mean, like, why, why wouldn't it stay there? Because this could happen again. I mean, honestly... Uh, Paul? No, I mean, like, we've already decided that... Oh, I didn't know that. I thought we hadn't decided anything. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, we've decided that... Look, <clears throat> yeah, even if we didn't do it, we're just going to refund all the money anyway, so there's, it, 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 either way, the, no matter what we decide to do, it's not like as if, oh, we're not doing this, so we're keeping the money. If we end up going to court, obviously the money's going to be used. I mean, we're going to need more money yeah. if we go yeah, to court. If, yeah. if we end up going to court, we're going to need more money yeah, than we have. Like we even. said, we're going to lay everything out. But if not, we then, you know, we'll figure it out. Like, we, ha we, we haven't decided I, 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 on something. You're not, we can't allow the fucking uh, chat room to pressure us into making a premature no, no, decision no, no, on no. an important no, legal no, matter. No, no, no. I'm not making... 
I'm, we're not making a decision on yeah. it. I'm just uh, I'm addressing it because people are saying that, sure. and I want to snuff that out now. The chat is shit. We've dude. already decided. We will make an official statement as to what's going to happen when yeah. we return. This is a legal proceeding, not a reality show. Yeah. So just butt out of it, okay? We'll, we're going to figure this out. We'll make you right. If, if we don't use it for legal stuff, you'll get it back. Yes, correct. If it's not if there's if it's not pursuant to the lawsuit that the money was raised for, then there will be refunds initiated for everyone except for the first few people because you know we did spend money on a legal letter and a few other things. But um, yeah, <coughs> that'd be it. So um, it's pretty much that. All right, here's the next video. What is it? Hey folks, Steve here. Oh my so God. a couple of days ago, there was this poem that was shared around a lot on the internet. And at first, a lot of us thought, because in the initial reports, it was said that it was an official inaugural poem for Trump's inauguration. Turned out later that wasn't true. It was just a poem that some dude wrote because he really, really loves Donald Trump. But whether it's an official poem or not, it's the most like chilling propaganda, hagiographic horseshit you've ever read in your life it paints trump as so steve w let's do this straight you don't engage in the exact same be uh, behavior your actions are totally contrary to that every time that we even discuss these issues there's so many preconditions put on people like you about how the discussion should take place where it should take place who you'll even have it with so talking about propaganda, you're like, the, the, as far as I'm concerned, your side is the, is pretty much the master of propaganda. As far as because every little thing can be construed in some way. Oh, you, uh, Hollywood doesn't cast enough did, black people. Did you? It's see, racism. Did you see Steve Shives on Twitter the other day? Obviously, you didn't because you're probably blocked. I don't know if you are actually. I have no idea. But um, he, he so. actually said on Twitter, like, people need to listen to each other and stop just you know closing themselves off in their little echo chambers and stuff. I don't know if he, he didn't use the exact term echo chamber, but that's what it boiled down to. Like, we need to all listen to each other and stop, you know, plugging our ears and going, la, la, la. It's like, meanwhile, you're the fucking most block-happy person on the internet. You actually just automatically block people who follow people you don't like. It's totally stupid. No, he wants to listen. Titan coming down from a tower, this conquering hero who is riding to the rescue of America to depose the tyrant Obama. And it's it's... It's just that, right? And I Let's thought, you know, it's really inappropriate for Donald Trump because Donald Trump is not a hero. He may, he may in fact really be a would-be tyrant himself, far from rescuing the people from a tyrant. That's, that's rather self-serving. Um, and I thought there must be a much better poem and not only that a more appropriate oh, okay form what is appropriate we can, can we can we, we has anybody ever huh? asked Steve what appropriate means appropriate means anything he approves yeah, of exactly Steve Shives. he decides bong. yeah the bong 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 yeah i just i i hate listen how much he uses it appropriate appropriate what who gets to decide what's appropriate uh, Steve, mac and me does Steve dude. and his ilk to use poetry to mark the occasion of the Trump inauguration. So I decided that it would be, instead of uh, an epic poem written about Donald Trump and his inauguration, it would be much more appropriate if we turned to a more humbler poetic form. One of my humbler? personal favorites. And that more is, humbler. That is, more uh, humbler. Limerick. I love limericks. me a good limerick, and the thing about limericks that make them especially appropriate... Oh, never mind. He's doing that Donald Minnesota Trump folksy is, well, number thing. Number one, they're, they're traditionally clever, which that doesn't work. Trump is, is uh, never within a million miles of clever. Yeah, Steve, because you know what's clever, right? You're so clever with your YouTube marketing. You're so clever with all of your videos that get millions of views. You're so clever. Oh, well, comparing you and Trump and with clever, I would say Trump's a lot more clever than you, buddy. Look where he's at and look where you are. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, Trump's, you might not fucking find Trump clever on some, like, Oscar Wilde level, but he's got some fucking wiliness in him. He's president. You know, whether you like Trump or not is, that's, that's not really a point anyone can dispute at this point. If they want to, they're stupid. But they're also traditionally vulgar. And boy, does that apply to Donald Trump. He's got to be one of the most <laughs> vulgar people I have ever <laughs> really? known Who of cares? in existence. <laughs> no. in all See, that's, that's related to appropriate. So, with your kind indulgence, 
my preamble has been This is vulgar. What this is appropriate. This is appropriate. This is vulgar. Know, this is inappropriate. I'll, I'll talk about this one. When I was <laughs> grown up, okay, Careful. vulgar had a meaning. Vulgar was somebody that was like openly sexually explicit. Yeah, like like, like Andrew Dice Clay like, or something pussy's like that. My pussy's wet, my cock yeah. and balls, my dick merry merry quite contrary. Yeah, Say that's that pussy vulgar. is so damn hairy. Oh, that was vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump has said some bad words. Does that make him a vulgarian? And, it, and a lot of it was in private when he didn't know he was being recorded. <laughs> so, like, vulgarity is deliberate, I would say. I mean, I would say that Donald Trump has been vulgar, but is he just vulgar in and of himself? No, no. And, and he's done it in appropriate places, like on the Howard Stern show. You know, he talked about, like, things some people would but consider But even there, vulgar. it was reserved because he's right. a business. He was like, yeah, no broads. Yeah, I like dames or whatever. The little stems on that girl. Great tits, great ass, whatever. That makes you vulgar now? Are you a dude? <laughs> no, he's not. I want to present to you a poem, okay. a series of limericks. Uh, series of limericks. Donald limericks Trump. are often vulgar, by the way. So be- watch out, everybody. These are vulgar. Donald, a man in a tower who bullshat his way into power. Shat. Vulgar. Graves admiration, but makes most of the nation feel filthy and needing a shower. Inappropriate. That's, that limerick sucked. Yeah. The thing Formal. is, our Donald's a racist. I've got one. I'll try it. quite probably a rapist, a liar. What? You rhymed racist and rapist? That doesn't... I mean, that doesn't really work. They just don't so, sound... How do you know he's right. a rapist? I mean, like... Also, most likely, a rapist. Well, like Benny made those comments. He grabs him by the pussy. Grab him he, by the... I don't well, even wait. I grab him by the pussy. A fraud, an ignorant clod, whose morals are simply the basest. He's bl- Bluck. Uh, yeah, so racist, uh, oh rapist, two. basest. Oh for 2, Steve. That sucked. <sighs> the rhyme Gross. scheme sucks. I know you suck. You know what? I, I see why he fucking preempted this by like, uh, these aren't going to be clever, but that's intentional because Donald Trump's not clever. Okay, that's why they're not clever. It's not because of your fucking limitations. Let's just Locked blacks breathe. from renting his houses, abused, dissed, and bullied his spouses, brought bigots to be. This, you're not, this is not, you're not using the right fucking rhythm scheme for this shit. Can I do a limerick real yes, quick? Yes, do a proper limerick. Huh. I'll do one. There once was a man from Nantucket whose dick was so long he could suck it. And when the occasion came round, he'd bend it right down and wrap it around and fuck it. Oh, I had another one. And he said with a, a grin as he wiped off his chin, if my ear was a cunt, I would fuck it. There it is. That's there another one I've heard. <laughs> That's and, how it and goes. And often a vulgar, too. So your use of this, sir, a traditionally vulgar medium... To describe vulgarity, I find vulgar. The rhyme schemes are off. Each heads gained platforms for skinheads. Uh, there's something off no, of Steve you, in general, dude. Why see you a heads with heads? A limerick is about syllable usage, okay? Yeah, you you're can't using just the wrong sh- amount of fucking you syllables. You can't just shoehorn a word in because you want to make a cute little wry joke. You gotta be clever to make a limerick, retard. Is it him about Steve strike you as clever? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, there you go. Unartful up knave. the West Wing with louses. Truly he a wasn't rube. a popular pick, though the SVR finds him This man slick. alloweth a winch to it tell him what to do. sound contradictory, but a tainted half victory <laughs> seems Indeed. plenty for this preening Thine dick. face is not with sunburning, right. Steve, you I, sallow punchback toad. I want to see... Ah, he's a toad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's a toad. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. Don't forget, as his presidency passes and he fosters and feeds on the fears of the masses, he campaigned on race. You don't, you don't have to do that fucking, what is it called, alliteration in limericks. Fosters and feeds and fo- That's more like uh, the night before Christmas or some shit. I want to see some people write up some, uh, some Steve Shives yeah, limericks. Yeah, limericks. Yeah, that would be cool. I want to see cool. Steve Shives limericks. Tag me too, because I'd yeah. love to see it. Tag, tag drunken. If peasants. you can fit it in a tweet, tweet it to me. Tag, tag if me. Not, tag just, me. You know, yeah, tag Paul. Tag me. Tag I want to see it. Oh shit, dude! Look at well, this. Well, they're definitely they're definitely have not enough room to write a limerick if they're tagging dude, that many if people. If Steve ever made this face at his wife, she would claw his fucking eyes out of his head. Yeah. Oh, she beats his ass down when he, looks, when he acts like this, dude. What are you talking cheat about? And a cheapskate. He'll never assimilate what makes America great. Again, let me restate. Resist this is not this a limerick. Dictate. Elect- 
Does that sound like a limerick this to you at limerick. all? This is not. Steve, what the fuck are you doing? So you couldn't, you couldn't write a limerick. And let's use all our weight to frustrate this low-rate magnate with no mandate. Let's remind them how... Okay, this, is, this isn't even trying to be a limerick at this point. This is like uh, something else. How vital the voting class is and throw Trump and his troop the fuck out on their asses. Yeah. I got one. I got one. What? I got one. I got one. Before you take a bow, Steve, hold on. I'm going to let you finish, but... uh. There once was a man named Steve Shives. So nervous, he broke out in hives. He laid in his bed, realized that he's wed, and gave up the rest of his lives. <laughs> Already better. I mean, that's, that's off the top of Paul's yeah, Paul, dome that's better. Paul off the top of his fucking head is better than you, Steve. And you did, did take a bow? Dude, I wish I had a fucking tomato to throw at your fucking face right now. What'd you think? Did you like it? No. no. Terrible. Boo! Boo, sir! I did not like it. I came for limericks, Steve. And you gave me some stupid anti-Trump slam some poem. Some half-baked half poetry, dude. Ugh. Please don't resist his edicts. Trump is a dick. He will come quick for your paycheck. Shut up. That's not a limerick. <clears throat> You disgraceful man. That's not a limerick. Go home you to thou henpecking wife, thou disgraceful milk faced loon. Be gone from my face. I'm done with thee. Rapscallion, I call you. Dude, every time a rogue. Every time he talks, Paul, it's just a lot of driggle and draggle. Henpecked little man alloweth his wife to hold the purse strings. <laughs> Allow with his wife, what a name. piggledy piggledy, to decide what, what he watcheth, what he enjoyeth, is. what wench he sleepeth with. Oh no, Paul, he is not the man of the relationship, he I, is the wench. I, I, I hate to say this, but truly a cuckold. <laughs> a cuckold of the highest order. If it was but anything to cuck. <laughs> this is true, because how does one cuck a puddle of ooze? <laughs> By showing it a puddle of ooze far grander and filled with algae. <laughs> yeah, we don't really have much more. Play the next one. Uh, we already played it. We played it. Come on, Gord. We've played everything. Pretty much. Shit. Feminist. Slam poetry. Oh, no. Hissing. Screeching. Squawking. Fuck you to all the men. I am blaming you. Yeah. All right. Everyone's favorite song. I don't know if this is actually a feminist slam poem or that intro was just in here. Hi, right, I'm Anision, and this is 10 <laughs> Things I Hate About Americans. The first thing, they're cocky. America is the number one country in the world. Actually, Canada, I think, has better medical care. <laughs> Can I just say something real quick? You know that big fat guy there? Yeah. You know who that is? No. Billy the Fridge. He's an he's a rapper and kind of an internet drama guy and just saying lives in Seattle. Mm. Well, he was on he also pals around with Onision and Leafy. Cool. Good times. Overwhelming amount of Americans have really dumb opinions. Obama Muslim couldn't build a wall, so big orange, my baby Trump, go build a big old wall. And they're just gonna put ladders and water slides and come right in. That's why we got this. What's with this music? Yeah, this music is I'm gonna be honest, awful. I, I just want to smoke a fucking blunt with Billy the Fridge. I'm, I'm just gonna be real, Billy. I'm using my power. People tell Billy the Fridge to at least come smoke a blunt with me. Just smoke a blunt with Paul's ego. Smoke a blunt with me, dude. Just smoke fat one guy, blunt with Paul. Fat guy to fat guy. Fat dude. guy to fat guy, player to player, pimp to pimp. Look at the donut around his neck. This motherfucker knows his business. I want to pick his brain over a blunt. Billy the Fridge, my apartment is open to you. Get All a right. hold of me. What? Uh, that was a fool, TJ. What a, what a ravening loon. Surely he could not do Ben's job. Surely not. Who could expect right, such? Everybody. Answer video well, let's see what time else is here. Got I got a lot of really uh, good questions. A lot. I, I was I was kind of shocked, given that you know. My, okay, we got to skip ahead, TJ. I'm doing it, bitch. Of the internet. I got a lot of shitty questions. So slow. You what now have one and only video game on. to play for the rest of your life. Any console, any genre. Uh, how do you not choose your favorite video game of all time? Um, my favorite video game of all time is the original Diablo. Still is for the PC. Sweet. And, uh, you know, I, I, 
I just want to take a moment to commend Paul on his choice. A far Thank better you. choice than... Well, JJ, what's your favorite game of all time? I really don't have one. The Legend of Zelda oh, I don't, I don't have Ocarina one. of Time. TJ, why don't you fucking That's a not, legit game. It is. It's a good game. Nut up and fucking It's the one choice. everybody says. TJ, look. Super right, bad I'm just going to come out and say it that Diablo fucking sucks. Fuck you. What? Fuck you. Just pointing you know what, TJ? Click, 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 you couldn't even beat Diablo, Because I started you? playing the Onision thing, and then Paul started trying to make friends with the fat dude in it, so I'm like, well, fuck this. Billy oh, the, Billy the Fridge, jealous. dude. He lives here. You're yeah, so okay. jealous, dude. He's awesome. He no, wears a donut, Paul's only dude. my friend. I'm the only fat guy. It's just not, fu it's not fun to watch an Onision video where Paul, where, you know, oh, like, we're he, not he, oh, ripping that, on Onision. Is that what this is about, Ben? Is that what this is about? Because yeah. I was ma I was praising another fat guy. Yeah, uh, you know what else? Well, well, one thing about you, Paul, is you have like this crazy fat sympathy. I do. Well, I, oh no, I admit it. I do. Like, like someone brought up a point. Like you, you seemed to not have much sympathy for the sad prince. Sure, I don't. But you had all the sympathy from the fat little kid that Santa yep. Claus was yeah, like. That's right. Don't eat any cheeseburgers, well, the sad, little boy. The sad prince probably has, let's be honest, a more carefree life than the poor little fat How boy. Do you that know, you don't know shit about the fat. That kid. That fat kid can be the most school 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 fat. Bat. The no, only thing you know, the only thing you know about that kid is that he was fat. Road. He was fat and he goes to a public school. I know that. And he lives okay. in a little town. I know that. I was one of those kids and I got so, mercilessly well, fucking go. fucked there's, on. There's there's the truth right And that's there. and that no, I, if you would allow me to speak, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I, <laughs> I have didn't allow Paul Listen. To speak. Listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Paul. I'll shut up and let you speak. Go ahead. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate that. I was I was a fat kid. I grew up in a little town, and I was I was made fun of a lot for being a, a, a chubby little kid. And then I got fatter in high school, and I was lucky because I talk a lot, so it helped me socially. Still waiting for new information. Go ahead. I'm just saying, like, that's why I have fat sympathy because I look at a fat person and I think, man, they probably had it rough growing up. It's and I can feel like an empathy for that oh, because wait. I did. We're supposed to do a campfire story. Yeah, we're oh, gonna do that. Yeah. That was a thing that 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 was brought up earlier. Oh, that is story true. Time with we Paul are pretty dude. much out of say, videos, so I think it's time for story time with Paul. I would Paul. say having sympathy is one thing, but I think automatically siding with the fat person. I don't. Uh, I have sympathy though. I do. I, I am more sympathetic to an argument out of a fat person, but I don't make my base my final judgment upon fatness. Paul is biased towards fat. Yep. I'm more likely to listen fat intently to a fatty. Fat supremacist, dude. Because I just biased, know, dude. Bias, bias, bias. Fat supremacist. Bias. Say what you want, man. Healthy at any size, dude. Now, now, we know the, now we know the secret behind why Paul always talks over me. He said he's more likely to listen to a fatty. Yeah, gain some weight, Ben. Fuck you. Yeah, you the go. fatter you get, Let's Ben. Let's do a reverse workout for Ben. As I get thin, you get fat. No, thanks. Dude, let's do it. It would be the most epic thing no, ever. Ben's you, you never been the fattest peasant, you know. Look, dude, a lot of actors and shit for their craft, Ben, will Not gain. Not an actor. I know, but you you're you're an entertainer. Do you? Okay. A lot of entertainers gain lots of weight because and then lose because it. because they have parts where the character that they're playing. I'm saying play the role of the fat ass on the show. I don't want time. to. Let's talk about sympathy after that. I don't want to. I don't. It's not going to happen. Like okay. Well, I I'm enjoy, just saying that then. If I enjoy being that, able to walk. I don't think we have any further business on we the can sympathy break issue. Ben's legs. I enjoy being able to walk and feed him nothing. I but do Cheetos. too. I do too, Ben. I really do. I know you. I know you. Do you think that like. Like fat people like genuinely like being fat. I think you do. You think I do? I mean, like maybe not one hundred percent, but to a degree, yes. So you've seen my back. You've me, seen the way I walk. The day. You see my back and shit. How it's, I walk, kind of hunched over. Now that part of that's genetic, but part of that is like fat exacerbated, and it sucks. But depression, I'm not making excuses for a fatty because honestly, it, it really is up to me to just work out. But Andy, my, mental, right. my mental problems and my circumstances in life have prevented me from like b having access to like whole foods yeah. and shit. Sh the arms of All right. the angel. I know, whatever. I, I know I was a poor kid, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't get to fucking complain oh about my being God. poor. I was a rich kid. I know you were. S sympathetic to poor rich. Was. Baron, but I was, do you have sympathy for poor people, Ben? 
with. I mean, like, I'm not going to be like, that person's poor, so I'm going to automatically assume cold. that I whatever never, they're talking I about. Never, no I never said that. And I'm not going to be more likely to listen to someone because they're poor. Really? Yeah. So you'd rather not, like, if you had a bloviating rich retard and a poor person, okay, well, a, you've ge- already, a genuine just like You've already given me person. more information. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, the, you, you're, you're already coloring it with other adjectives. Right, you're already putting, like, right. well, you're already putting, like, a Look, bias dude, on it. All I say is, like, get I want to hear the fucking campfire story. Oh, yeah, we're, we're I want to talk do about it. Paul's conspiracy. I, I know. <laughs> shit. I don't have conspiracies. You I'm just going to tell a story, man. Well, according, uh, like, according to Ben, this story can be seen from a is this all in Paul's head, or is this what's really going well, on? There was someone I else there. I don't control people's reaction to my stories. I just sure. tell them as I remember them. I know, but I want to have that discussion after I hear this fucking story. Okay, fair enough. All right, hold on. Scotty's gone anyway, and I want him to come back. Uh, uh, all right. Fucking, we can't, we can't start till Scotty's here. Scotty. The all-important Scotty. Yeah. Do 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 do. Crispy Baldy, Crispy Baldy, Crispy Baldy, Crispy Baldy. Where's the killing? 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 Where's the Crispy balls, crispy balls, crispy balls. Glendis, Scotty, can you give me a drink? Crispy balls, Glendis and Boop. I don't know, just like a water or tea or whatever. Glendis and Boop, crispy balls. Where's the kill? I heard some people talk about Davy Crockett too. Davy, I will say, like TJ, when you go to make a decision about what to eat, and you and you look at it, and do you ever think for a second like what you're going to eat isn't healthy? But you're like, I'm already fat anyway, so I might as well just eat it already. I don't know if I ever have that thought uh, process. My I do. Thing, I'll admit that. I don't. Right. I don't really, that's, that's that's not the my, aspect of like. That's not my that's rationale born out though, of though. other things though. Too. My rationale is more just like. Well, of course, I, I want this, so I'm doing it. <laughs> I don't like, give a shit. I just have a low self regard. So, like, so for me, it's more colored. Like, oh, you know, you know, I shouldn't eat this. I know the negative detriments of eating this, but I'm already a fat retard that's probably gonna die of a fucking heart attack in 15 seconds anyway. So. I'm going to get the double quarter pounder. Mm. Like, that's the kind of narrative. And I'm just being honest with you, Ben, because I yeah. think honesty is the best policy. Now, Dude, whether or not McDonald's that's directly under my control, I think it's up to interpretation. I think sometimes it is, and sometimes genuinely it isn't. And, you know, I'm not, I, I, whatever. I do my best, man. I I do. But, but. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of curious. How is it not up to you is what I'm saying? Like, I, I understand what you're saying on the other part, but how is it not up to you what you eat? Well, I mean, on some level, it depends on my my the level of money that I have. On some level, like you don't have okay. access to certain sure. types of quality foods and quality water and quality fucking workout equipment. Yeah. If you're in a certain fucking economic strata, and I, I spent okay. most of my life in that strata, and the life that I've spent outside of that strata, I've been you know I, I don't. You've been I don't, healthier. I've been healthy. Well, on and off, I've been healthier. But I get I, I go through cycles because, like my mental illness, my fatness is cyclical. I'm not blaming it all on that, but I'm sure. just saying it, it, it. They're comorbid. So when I'm depressed, I'm fat, and then I get better, and I feel better, and I get thin. Ah, uh, okay. And then and then it creeps back into my life, and I get fat. So if you want to call that struggle a lack of willpower, then I'm cool with reducing it to that because it does involve that. I would say ultimately the final decision to put it in your mouth and chew it is sure. yours. Well, yeah, there but, are but influences. You you have to put, uh, but like I said. Okay, I'm, keep I'm about talking, the- Paul. All right. All right. I guess it's time for the Paul only Paul talk segment. Yeah, let's work Paul up into a fucking anger and then make him perform. Story good good point. It's okay. I've done it before. Well, don't be so easily to anger, I guess. Don't be so prodding and inscrutable and fucking pedantic. Okay. And I won't get angry. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on to story time with Paul. Why inscrutable? I, I because I can't figure the I can't figure him the fuck out. I don't think anybody can. Well, I think that's a point. I mean, maybe if you listened. I do. No. No. I mean, like you 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 say something, and then Ben tries to say something back to you, and but you keep trying to talk. Like, I hear. I want to make more points. Okay. Like, let me respond I'm to the points to, you already made. I'm okay. Fine. Fine. 
I'm willing to listen to Ben on this issue if he wants to do that and start right. story time with Paul. And so shut fuck the story fuck time up. with Paul. Uh, well, we'll make it the the preamble to it. Paul. And let's get through it. But Paul I, versus Ben on the issue yes. of fatness. Okay, let's go. Round one. Fight. I don't even know. Like, I was just trying to say. So you're saying you you were. Let me refresh your memory, Ben. You were saying that the final decision to put something in your mouth is on you. Right, and there might be contributing factors to that decision. Mm -hmm. But if you're if you're gonna say that it's not your final decision, then you, I mean, at that point, you've totally lost self control. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that self control. Am I allowed to? Yeah. Are yeah, you yeah, done? Oh, yeah. Okay. I think that self-control itself needs to be defined because self-control is a wavering factor in a lot of people on a lot of things. And I think that nobody at this table or really anybody I've ever met is immune from that truth. So uh, my self-control is bad, I'll admit. Mm -hmm. I'm an I have a sedentary, unhealthy lifestyle. I tend towards laziness. Mm -hmm. um, I tend towards uh, the lowest effort out of, to get the mas maximum benefit. Now, part of that is good. Work smarter, not harder. But it's more for me about not being inconvenienced. Now, there are mitigating factors that I would talk about if I was talking about this honestly. I don't know if you, you want me to do that. Go ahead. Okay. I have, uh, I was born with a, a scoliosis in my upper back. Uh, my, my doc, my, my spinal doctors have referred to it as a scolioid curve mm -hmm. and I was born with it and I'm not a candidate for reconstructive surgery because my type of scoliosis damaged a cervical part of my cervical spine that they're afraid to straighten out and fuse because that's how they would fix it. And because I've lived my entire life with that scolioid curve. Uh, my lower back is now severely damaged. I have a herniated, not, not herniated yet, but it will be at some point in my life. Could I ask a question? Yes. Do you think your weight may yes. aggravate yes. the issues you already have? Yeah. No, I know that it does. I, I, no, trust me. I know. And, That's it, and I don't want to get anecdotal, Okay. but I know someone who has a condition like yours where throughout high school they had to wear a special corset to hold their... I've had to do that. Yeah, yeah. At various times in and, my life. And, and they are... They're someone in advanced age and yeah. they're still thin. Well... Another mitigating factor is genetics. I told you the scoliosis was genetic. My, I have also uh, bad lower back runs in my family. So, so look, like I, 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 did I just not... want to volunteer that I'm just fat because I eat too much. Well, right, right, I am too. So, so <laughs> that's that's the point I'm trying to make. Like, I don't have any sort of deep underlying I scarring eat, I, I psychological like, factors uh, or other reasons. Sure, I, I just eat, like to eat because I'm a gluttonous fucking pig. Sure, and, and I don't give a shit. I guess yeah, that's yeah, true at this. times of me too. But look. I'm saying that there are always, like, look, TJ, if you were mm -hmm. honest, yeah. there are mitigating factors to you being fat that go sure. beyond your gluttony. And I have an There's argument against that. psychological underpinning. Okay. My argument is, ultimately, it's still your choice. Mitigating factors aside, it's still your choice. And if you're saying it's not your choice, okay. then you, you're, not a, you're not capable of making your own decisions anymore. Can I, can I, uh, can I respond to that? Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, we talked about my economic status most of my life. At a certain point, you have to put food in your mouth. And at a certain point, you work so much and your level of effort is only so capable that you have to go to a place where you can get cheap, quick, so calorically dense food. I'm just saying, I've lived, I've lived entire like months on Top Ramen. I, mean, I still eat it to this so day. So what do you say to I, anyone I, else who does that and is not fat? Um, because those people probably exercise, but exercise is hard for me. See, I, I, I didn't grow up around right. a swimming pool. I was just going to say that, like, I guess that uh, the fact that societies can tend towards, like, you know, weight problems, you know, like, it, it can be part of, like, some culturally ingrained shit, too. That's that, too. Like, it's not like if it was just all boiled down to individual choice, you'd see, like, the same amount of fatness across the board as provided the economics mm -hmm. are on the same basic level and shit. But, yeah. you, you know, you really see, like... Uh, it's worse in, in Mexico. It's worse here. It's worse um, in certain populations. I don't really groups. know what other population groups have really high obesity uh, rates. Black but. women. And if you want, like, my input on that, too, here, the like, cultural input, my mom is like, she's a southern woman, and you guys will know what that means. She, to, to, to tell someone she loves them or that she cares about them, is to feed them. Yeah, and to feed, overfeed them probably. And to over, my mom, <laughs> and I shit you not, it'll happen to you guys if you ever meet her, she will force feed you almost. She'll be like, honey, look at all of this cheesy potato. Dude, I know what you're talking about because I was, I was in a Mexican place once and the waitress there was like a sweet old lady 
but she would like shame you if you didn't eat enough. It wasn't that bad. She'd come to your, you know, she'd come to your plate and be like, not like well, mean. I'll tell you what. Just like, what's wrong? You feeling sick? Keep there eating. Are, there are cultures, and I've experienced it with Filipinos that I knew when I was a kid. There are cultures where it's considered rude to eat, but I still, I still won't change my position that. Okay. On, a, I believe I don't believe that it's just that you're just inherently destined to be fat. You don't believe that there are people who are genetically predisposed to obesity? Yes, yes but they well, don't. That, you, so is that not inherently destined? Not necessarily. They they depending. E- even even if they're genetically predisposed, doesn't mean that they have to. Be. Uh, let's, I mean, like I've, from what I've read, the genetic predisposition towards obesity is a pretty fucking rare thing. And, and I, I would also point out that at, for about the first 10, 11, t- almost twelve years of my life, I wasn't fat. I was actually athletic. <coughs> I played sports. I was ran around. I was able to work with it because I was young, and the the yeah, back that, problem yeah, hasn't set in. Yeah, that reminds me of my brother Stevie, because you know he used to be yeah quite the and little I got athlete. Fat, and now and look, he's a flat fuck. I'll like blow me. your mind, Ben. There have been times in my adult life where I have been quote unquote not obese. I weighed two hundred and thirty pounds at one point, mm-hmm. which for me is overweight, but not obese. Sure. So yeah. to say that I ha- look, I'm not claiming that I can't do it. I'm claiming that I have, there are things in my Don't life that have stood in the way. I do. So I genuinely do, and I want to make no kayfabe, no bullshit. I don't need a show challenge. Yeah. If something springs up around it, I'm fine. But I, I intend to do it for me because I don't want to die yeah. next year of a fucking coronary. If I can intercede in that now yeah. and take care of myself now that I'm in a better place mentally, I might survive a few more fucking years. That's where I'm at. So that's... Now, I'm not saying I will succeed, and I know, you know, I may not. I haven't in the past, but I'm going to try. What what can I do but struggle, dude? That's all you can do. I mean, you don't even literally have to, have to struggle. You could um, just incrementally... Um, ben. What? Okay. <sighs> I'm listening. Go ahead. <laughs> Are you listening or are you thinking about what you want to say talk- next? No, I'm just tired of talking about this. I was hoping we could move on, but I guess we're not done. So I'm, I'm happy to listen. Where have I heard this before? Okay. Well, I, I was just saying, like, you don't even have to struggle if you do it in such an incremental way where you just do it a little at a time. It can be done easily over a longer period of time. I was encouraging you, Paul. I uh, appreci- you you I had it made that. up in your mind that I was going to say something no, else. <laughs> I've tried... I just feel like you're giving me advice on something that Ben, I genuinely, I know you think I've just been a fat slug that laid around all his life and ate gummy bears and got fat. I've been, I, my, I my way, well, you, you're, you know treating what me, you're treating me like that because you're t- giving me diet and exercise advice. Well, ben, like I don't uh, know. Ben lost a quite a bit of weight. So, I mean, I know he did, but from, so have like, I experienced I, lo- I, I lost over a hundred pounds when I got to 300. So to I'll two, end it here. I'll end it here, Paul. I okay. just want to say this. Okay. And we're on the show live and it's cool. Like I'm, I'm fine getting this out. Paul, when I talk to you, I feel like you're not listening. I feel like you're just thinking about what you want to say next. And then you have this thing where you always turn it into like, I'm personally attacking you. Like I'm, I'm, you attack- I'm sorry. I'm just mad, dude. I, I'm sorry. I'm pissed. I'm you not got mad. Me pissed off. Oh, well, I am. Okay, fine. I'm not super mad. Like I'm attacking we're ending, you because you're poor. I'm attacking mad, you because like, you're depressed. I'm attacking you like that's not it. I'm just. It has nothing to do with that. You, this whole thing started with a talk about sympathy, Ben. And I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, like, look, you may not buy my excuses, and I'd say walk a mile in my fucking shoes. I don't judge you. When you look, dude, I'm not going to try to call you on the carpet for nothing, Ben, but you gained a little weight when you moved back here. Oh, no, I admitted that right away. Okay, fair enough. But I'm just saying, did I ever say a fucking word to you about it? <clears throat> no, did I, I said, call you a fat slob. Did I did I do anything? Did I call into question your willpower? Did I give you dietary advice? See, why are you in this nurse no, but, position where I got to sit and listen to you? Give me fucking advice like I'm not a man. That has been through okay. diets and exercise plans and worked around this fucking de- physical deformity that I have and my mental problems to try and make it work. You think I don't know incremental change is better than just jumping into a crash diet or a crash exercise plan? I'm sorry, dude. It just comes off as fucking preachy to me. I'm a grown ass man. I'm 36 years old. I've been fat and not fat my whole fucking life. I know how to lose weight. And I appreciate your encouragement at the end there, but some of the other shit you've said to me tonight, dude, ain't been that fucking encouraging. My willpower, excuses, at some point you control what you put in your mouth. Well, yeah, that's true. But what does that imply about me? 
that I'm just dumb and I just like stuff in my face and want to be a big fat lard? Well, that's what I do. Well, sure, but he's not talking about you. He's talking about me. I was just talking about in general. I would no, say... No, uh, fuck you. you. This was about me, man. I was just saying overall, <laughs> we choose what we put in our mouths to eat. That's what I was saying. I mean, everyone heard it. So. <coughs> Everyone, you know what? Everyone heard everything else you said tonight, too. And I guess people can make up their own minds. I was done a while ago. <coughs> if you're done now, I, I, I'm, I can keep going. I just don't think there's a point, man. Sure. I'm not, I asking, said you, I, I'm not asking you to buy my line. I'm not. Trust me, you ain't seen my x-rays. Maybe I'm a big old huckster. <laughs> walks around hunched what over. What are you even talking about? I'm just Jesus. saying, like, why don't, you, why don't you have a single shred of fucking empathy for a person? <laughs> I didn't say that like, I why don't. Why do you roast them like a fucking frankfurter over the flame because they're fat? <coughs> And then, and then get did I mad. do that? And then did get, I do that? And then get all huffy when they get pissed off when you call into question shit that you either don't know about or don't care about that they feel is mitigating. What do you think, Scotty? <laughs> uh, man, I ain't touched this. Jump with on in, Scotty. I don't blame I ain't you. Touch this with a ten foot I wouldn't. Pole. I wouldn't if I were you. Jump either, on man. in, Scotty. I don't blame anybody. Say something. Something. Read your read the situation <laughs> to us in your usual blunt way. Uh. <laughs> I really don't want to. Oh, man. Could be so beautiful. All right. I guess the show's over then. So you're not going to do it? <clears throat> Me? Yeah. All right. Um, I mean, I really don't know. Ha, 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 ha. That's why I wanted Scotty to sum it all up. Because, uh, you know, I can see how Ben is annoying. But at the same time, I think Paul has, like, a giant persecution complex, and he reads, like, insane amounts of things and the shit Ben says that are not there. That's my read of the situation. I was just having a conversation on the show. So you <coughs> diagnose me, but not him. So he can be annoying, but I have a fucking persecution complex. I mean, I'm not even pissed off when he won't drop shit. I'm just saying, like, everything he says, you turn it into, like... Ben is insinuating what, this. He's insinuating what this. You, he's insinuating what did you this. Think he's he insinuating meant? this. What did you think he meant by t what, 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 what he brought up? In he's saying you're fucking. Don't, he's saying you're, he's questioning your willpower. That's what he's doing. Right. Why can't he do and that? And I question it myself. And when I well, try to explain, if you question yourself, why is it that Ben can't fucking question? He can. It? I'm not questioning. Look, look, dude. I sat here and participated in this shit. That's true. <laughs> do whatever the fuck he wants. He's a grown ass man. I'm asking, can I? Yeah. Yeah. Well, fair enough. Then we don't disagree. All right. I guess that's that then. All right. Good night, everybody. Peace.